up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot versus A Bite Podcast, episode 112. We got rapper. Uh, shit, he in a he in a duo too. Uh, no politics. Yes, sir. Uh, we got rapper. Uh, shit, he kind of like a poet too, dog. His music, man. He yeah, put yeah, words yeah. together pretty dope, man. <laughs> yeah. Got the homie, man, Sean Carlo, man. What's popping, Brody? What's, What's good? good with you? Nah, not uh, much, shit, man. If I say this episode one twelve, I don't remember if I said it or not. <laughs> but everything good with you, bro? <laughs> yes, sir, man. How about you? Man, everything straight, man. Day by day, dog. That's it. That's, That's the only shit. thing you can do, man. But shit, man. Uh, before we get into everything and deep dive into shit, we start with everything with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away Be like man He or she was dope Or you know what I'm saying Make a long Facebook status And then yeah. Never tell that person How you You know Can't care about them Before they uh, pass away yeah. But the only thing about it It can't be nobody In your media circle It can't be like Your your wife it can't be like Mom, dad If you got kids Brother, sister it Gotta be somebody Out of that normal You know what I'm saying That normal answer Gotta be one of the homies Yeah for sure Um Uh I shout out my homie Fresco, Fresco oh, Bundles. For sure. Um, like a brother to me, for sure. Not biological, you yeah. know what I mean? But he um, helped me a lot when I was getting going Yeah. Um, many moons ago. And now he doing his own thing, and he been turning that shit up. Like, he, sure. he going going mad hard, not believing what he doing. You for know sure. what I mean? So he on the music tip? Yeah, he on music. Okay. Um, he rap. Yeah. He he do some executive producing. That's what he been doing a lot lately. For sure. But um yeah for sure. But he just just mad creative. You yeah. know what I mean? And never saw it coming. But he doing his thing. For yeah, sure. Yeah. What you mean you never saw it coming? Like you didn't think like he was into it at first. Or nah. Something? You know we've been rapping for a minute. Like yeah. at first it was just like like we all just freestyled like homies sure. and shit. Mm-hmm. But like um you know he he was. Like when I told him, like, yo, I want to do this shit for real. Like he would come to the studio with me, give me insight, give me yeah. input, tell me what he think. I always respected his ear, just even when we were just listening to shit. For sure. But um, yeah, he didn't rap. Never said nothing about really wanting to rap. <laughs> and then it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I don't think he he wanted to at all. But for then, sure. like you know, just after a while, he's like, fuck it, I think I can do this shit too. Hell yeah. And you know, he started off joking with it, but now he he's serious about it, and this shit been dope. So. No, that's how I be sometimes. Cause that's mm-hmm. how I was. I remember like people around me rapping, dog. And I'm like, damn, I wish I could do that shit, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Well, I do. I remember I take, like, my cousin first two bars and the then try to build off that shit. Yeah. Then one day I went to the studio and really recorded some shit, dog. And this nigga heard it. This nigga didn't believe it was me and shit. Like, <laughs> like, dog, like yeah, bro. I, but, dog, niggas didn't know. I took It took me three verses just to make that one. So I'm taking, like, two bars from here, a couple okay. bars from here, just to make that one dope verse and shit, dog. So you wrote it three times and just, just took the best parts? Or? Yeah, I just, uh, three different raps I had wrote and just right, took the best right, right, right. lines out of each one, dog, because, okay. you know what I'm saying? I'm like, dog, this shit got to be hard, bro, because <laughs> even though my uh, my cousin, I call my cousin, dog, he stole the motherfucking uh, hook from uh, KDZ. <laughs> I ain't know that shit till later on. This year. <laughs> yeah, dog. So yeah, I put all that shit together, bro. I mean, my rap career was pretty short, dog. I don't know. I'm too cheap to be a rapper, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so you just just ain't want to just take yeah. the time, invest consistently. I mean, it's just I don't know, man. It's just I don't know. I don't know, bro. I wasn't dedicated like I am with the podcast, shit, dog. Hey, everybody got their thing. Cause sure. at first, I was using this podcast for the music tip to get my shit out. But then when I started like doing this shit, I'm like, man, this shit better. Yeah, and you dope at it too, so you know what I mean. I it makes sense that, bro. for sure, for sure. That. Hell yeah! Now, uh, shit. Before we get into the music, bro, it's 2022, man. Been a wild two years and shit, dog. Yeah, for sure. How your year been so far? Uh, so far it's been pretty solid. Um, mm-hmm. you know, we started off. My intention this year was to like. You know what I'm saying? Really, really sink my teeth into the music again, get yeah. some music out. So we got a few projects out. Uh-huh. Been uh been working, been been happy for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh last two weeks been semi rough, lost a couple people. Oh yeah, yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, but um, people. Yeah, so you know, that shit kinda knocked shit off course. But yeah. it's all good though. You know what I mean? We keep it moving. Other for than sure. that, you know, it's been copacetic. So mm-hmm. I'm excited for sure. Hell yeah, Q1 dog. was a good one. Yeah, dog. You're my producer, man. We, you know, we, what? You've been in what? Three funerals in a month and a half? Damn, man. I'm man. sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah, dog. That shit. It, it, it could knock you off, dog. Uh, sometimes, man. You know, I ain't lost so many people, dog. Sometimes I be feeling like I'm numb to it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, if, like, since I've been in this mug, I stay in Texas for three years. Since I've been back in 2015, I've been in a funeral each year. Mm. Like that shit be crazy, bro. Like you be you be preparing ready, like all right, man. What's gonna happen this year? Like, right, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Even yeah. though it's sad to say, but yeah. sometimes it's like that. That's shit rough, man. Life is hard for sure. Hell yeah, you just gotta like I be I be realizing when I see death, I'm like, dog, I gotta live. Mm-hmm. Cause sometimes you just be on some lazy shit or just don't fight like doing nothing. But fuck, you gotta you don't know shit. Tomorrow might not be promised for real, for real. Man, so you gotta motherfucking nigga live. If you wanna do some shit, you gotta do it. Yeah, bro, that's a fact. And like touching on what you said kind of earlier, you know, said talk about. 
giving people their flowers. Yeah. Um, funeral I went to yesterday. He was like a uh, older cat. He was in the hip hop. His name was the president, Chris Walker. Mm -hmm. He um, was a mentor, kind of, mm -hmm. you know, like an uncle figure to me and Tish. Yeah. And, um, you know, he passed like two weeks ago. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And like literally like four days before he passed, I had just seen him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah, he, he was man. trying to like like make some plans for some shit for us and it was just like, you know, damn. But like when we went to his funeral yesterday, mm -hmm. that was like, I don't usually get too choked up at funerals neither, but like just to see like the impact he had on people. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I mean? Like it was yeah, like yeah. genuine. It wasn't just like the, the typical like, oh, he was a good person type shit. That, yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody gonna get at the everybody, but like his shit was like, like heartfelt. He really, yeah, he really you know was doing something out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and when we left, I was like, you know, this this is what it's about. Yeah, for sure. And that's one thing I want to Make sure, though, whenever I do leave this earth, and I hope it's no time soon, yeah, but I hope sure. I hope that I made an impact on more than just, you know what I'm saying, my kids or my, my wife and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I hope motherfuckers be like, dog, he was a good dude. He did right by, you know what I'm saying, by everybody. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So Likewise. Let's get off this real quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 We go. We go. We go. We go. We go live it up. <laughs> Pretty soon, we going to be playing, uh, what's that, boys and men? Oh, so. do I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I mean, well, everybody might be teary eyed. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My eyes sweat a little bit. Cut, yeah. cut, <laughs> <Duh. Cut. laughs> Like my man, y'all seen that shit? My man drank <laughs> the Hennessy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, the little ass bottle, dog. <laughs> Cut. Uh, that nigga was drunk nigga like, see, see I, I was doing too much. I was doing too much, dog. That nigga spit that shit on steroids, everything, dog. <laughs> Plain as hell. Now, uh, uh, speaking of 2022, what's some shit that you felt that you need to leave behind last year, man? Because you know, a lot of times mm. we go into the new year like, man, I ain't, I ain't doing this, and you know, what I'm saying I ain't, I ain't bringing this to new year. What's some shit you felt like you, you know, what I'm saying you had to just leave behind or you had to change up about yourself? Uh, second guessing myself yeah. and um. And worrying about other people's shit too much, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. That's like... Man. Yeah, because you start worrying about that shit, they probably become more, <laughs> your man, problem. Man, for real. <laughs> or, or like, even like, not even if we just looking at people's problems, like, you know what I mean? Just, just being transparent, like as an artist, mm -hmm. business person, mm -hmm. you look at how other people run their shit yeah. and start trying to implement they, the way they do their thing or get scared mm -hmm. of the way they did their thing. That shit don't do nothing for you, really. You know what I mean? Sure. You, gotta, you gotta run your own race, so, you know... Yeah. Just, yeah. just, just focusing on my track For sure, for sure, yeah Because I be hating, dog them Niggas make them New Year's resolution on, And then nigga, January 3rd <laughs> Come back to their bullshit like, <laughs> It be over with Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, That's why I don't even say shit I just write that shit in my notes And then I look hey. back on it Like, damn <laughs> Facts hey, Was I on some fuck shit? Like, <laughs> hey, I typed out a few uh, <laughs> New Year's resolution shit And just deleted all them bitches Like, if I fall off, nigga Dog, you be niggas, like, oh, a new car a New job Nigga, like, shit happened like, Right hey. yeah, Niggas ain't pointing at me <laughs> That's why if you go to the gym You see a thousand niggas That bitch working out you, you go back in April, nigga. That bitch <laughs> back normal, dog. Bro, you ain't even gotta make it to April for real. Y'all ass being that bitch January twenty first. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you can get on any machine you want. Hell yeah, shit didn't die down anymore, <laughs> dog. That bitch for like sure. the club on the first dog. <laughs> for real, dog. For sure. Now dog, uh talk about your circle, bro. Like how tight is your circle? Like like how do a person gotta be to uh to get, you know what I'm saying, in your circle, whatever, dog. Like, mm -hmm. like cause a lot of niggas be like, dog, they don't fuck with new niggas and shit like that when when niggas you say that shit, that was kind of weird to me because you can meet somebody and be like, dog, this nigga, yeah. or she really dope. Like, damn, that's somebody I can vibe with, whatever. Yeah. So, like, how do somebody earn your trust, dog, to like really, like, you know what I'm saying, for you to really fuck with? Shit, uh, you just gotta just feel it. You know what I mean? I fuck with genuine people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, if you if you give off good genuine energy every time I see you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People be polite, you be considerate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just just hit me up. For sure. Or whatever, if we can just, just you know, just I really can't. You, you, I know wrong when I see it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, yeah it, as far as like getting in my circle, yeah. I mean, that shit kind of just happened organically. But no, I'm always open to, to like meeting new yeah, people. You know, sure. I think that's what it's really about. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. Because that, that, I, I realize like with just doing this podcast, bro, like that shit lead to you. You need those type of relationships to build because you never Facts. know what that who that person might know. Opportunities he might have for you through somebody else or whatever like that. So Facts. I ain't met people through this podcast, bro. That sure, I still talk to him and shit. My dog Diddy, shout out to my dog Diddy, man. He bring, he bring people from our town to come on the show. Yeah, that's you a know love. what I'm saying. Just off of him bringing the rest in peace to ours, he brought he passed away. But him bringing that person. Him seeing how I was and how he was, like, shit, he fucked with us ever since. Yeah, facts. Oh so, yeah, good dude. For yeah, real. man, that's what it's about, and that's why, like, you know, like we was like we was saying, like. I think it might have been before we started filming, but like, you know, podcasting, like, this shit is like, mm -hmm. 
like media and shit is like how you meet people. And it ain't up, always man. it ain't always solely business. Like yeah. you know, I done met some cool people through doing music and it's just like, you know, I want more of that. You know what yeah, I mean? Sure. I, I want yeah. more of that on my timeline. Yeah. More of that on my phone, period. It's more of that in person, it's just yeah. Connecting You know what I mean What's some, what's some podcasts You fuck with In the city And outside And, and like in main, in mainstream Mainstream uh, In the city I fuck with Meet the Connect Shout mm -hmm. out Popular Loser mm -hmm. um, My homie Denzel Black Friday's podcast okay. You know what I'm saying uh, My cousin got one Call you back pod It's a few Okay uh, I don't wanna Slight nobody and forget yeah. But, yeah. So yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna stop there You know yeah. what I'm saying Yeah uh, Mainstream Yeah mainstream who you be, who you I fuck with? with Earn Your Leisure Probably some of the dopest shit Okay yeah I, I, I peeped a couple of theirs Yeah I fuck with Earn Your Leisure And okay. uh, Market Mondays Which is one of their offshoots And I like um, I fuck with Gary V Okay, okay I fuck yeah. with Gary V I like um, um, Fuck with Joe Budden Podcast I never really got in a button podcast. Yeah, 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 I fuck yeah. with million dollars worth of game. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I like how they be showing love. I like Wallow when they be giving game to youngers. And yeah, like yeah, that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie when he did when he did that. I know you saw a clip he did with uh with Dirt. I heard about it. I ain't oh yeah, that it. was that was a strong ass clip though. I ain't gonna lie, my eye might got a little sweaty though. Like yeah, <laughs> like, he was talking some shit for real. Yeah, had the whole room full of some of the. Shit, the wildest niggas and them are quiet, like listening to what that nigga was saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he really from it though. So you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like that's that's why I fuck with that perspective. Like you could like talk about living life. Like that's somebody who done went through hell. You know what hell I'm saying? Yeah, for to, sure. to still be so happy and be so positive. For sure. You ever thought about uh, getting to the uh, podcast world yourself though? Hell yeah, I was I was very close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? What's going to stop uh, dog? Just just. You got the, kind of the the opposite of what you say. You say you started off as a rapper, and then you yeah. was like, "Man, I'd rather do this." Yeah. Like I, I tried the podcast idea, and it's like I think I would rather rap and yeah, like meet people. Sure. You know what I mean? Because I like talking to people, yeah. but I don't think I'd have a passion. To like, <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like do this shit. This is a job, bro. You no, know what for saying? sure. I yeah, job for sure, bro. Finding people. That's why I love like when people find me sometimes. Like how you reached out to me. Yeah, for sure. And then I'm like, listen, me was like, oh shit, he dope for real. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I try. I ain't the type of person just to be like. Uh, no hater now But I try to bring Dope people on Yeah for Some sure. people will wake up tomorrow Like I wanna rap uh, Can I come on the show Like nigga like, yeah, What we yeah. gonna talk about bro like, Yeah right right right, right, <laughs> you right, right. start rapping yesterday yeah, Nigga like yeah. You know what I'm saying And some people just gotta I don't think some people Understand like bro When you don't have the talent That's a fact Like sometimes Somebody got Somebody in your circle Gotta be real with you Let you know that You ain't really dope Like that Like Yeah <laughs> You need to work Like it you know what I'm saying enough of that And that's cool Cause yeah. I'm quite sure He'll tell me like Nigga that was a terrible interview That was a he ain't told me like that song was ass before. Like I'm like, damn. Yeah. But you want those people around because you don't want to get out there in the world and they be like, nigga, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> you look like a damn fool. Yeah, who yeah. are these niggas you hanging with, dog? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gotta keep each other tight. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And that's what like you know, I value doing that for my homies and my homies do the same for me. Like for you, sure. you got need, to. You need a challenging perspective around cause yeah, yeah. you only a whole bunch of yes people. Yeah. For like sure. we, we complain about everybody wanting to be a rapper, but that's why. Like you know what yeah. I mean? We, <laughs> yeah. we, we be saying in general, like, "Oh, this is ass," but we don't. Everybody don't go tell the people, like, yeah, "Yo, yeah. That, this and, not and it." Bro. And, break, and break down why it's ass. Don't just say it's ass. Yeah, and sound like a hair, like, yeah. like, like, like hey, your flow off, or yeah. sound like you writing, sound like you write, you reading from the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All that good shit, dog. Yeah, it's a fact, bro. Like, like you ass. All right, what's ass about? Right, I don't Man, know. Not, not nigga just defensive <laughs> thinking you a hater, like, like you, ain't a hater, bro. you know what I mean? Just like shit. All right, man. What's shit, man? Talk about you, bro. Talk about growing up, man. Who's in the crib? You know what I'm saying? Where you from? East, West? I know you probably go say the West because everybody from the West will come over here. No, I was thinking that shit on the way here. I'm like, <laughs> I've I've been on the East Side more times probably in the last year or two than I've been in my whole damn life. Damn, for real? Yeah, I'm from the West. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I grew up like like most of my life, like like Linwood and Oakman, okay. like right by like Focus Hope, mm -hmm. block away from Focus Hope, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But uh, I stayed a few spots. Uh okay. I'm a fan from HP originally, so okay. spent a lot of time over there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, typical household. I don't want to say typical, but you know, moms, pops, mm -hmm. uh, they split. Okay. You know, s early on, two families, very early. You okay. know what I'm saying? I don't even really remember that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was just the way it was. You yeah, know what I mean? For but, sure. um, uh, three sisters I got okay. a brother You know what I mean It's just, yeah. just, just normal You know what I mean yeah, Went yeah, to school yeah. Yeah. Now you say You've you been on the east side more and You say in, in the last year or two Yeah Than your life Like what's the difference bro Cause when we go Like I stay on the west side now Cause my wife from the west So right. she, she had never moved to the east <laughs> Right Right Right, right. <laughs> So like The only thing I knew about the west side bro Was my uh, My aunt and my cousins stay on Schoolcraft and Schaefer. Right. So I used to hoop over there all the time, right by post office and shit. Yeah, over yeah, there. yeah. So I knew that's, I knew about that, and I knew that y'all had like the 
the best, the best looking women. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So what's the difference you see when you come on your flip side of coming from the west to the east, bro? Like, um, good or bad? They gonna say all bad. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It ain't all bad. All my, my experience with the East Side, and uh, from the few times that I did come when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? For like sure. I remember my people talking about it, so that could have been an inclination. But it seemed like like yeah. East Side people seem like real chill, real cool. Like yeah. like the West is kind of in the, in most pockets, kind of f- kind of flashy, oh, kind, sure. kind of yeah. fast. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so sure. it's like you know that shit breed a lot of competition, and on the East. You know, it seemed like it's a little bit more chill. So, yeah. you know what I mean? It might be a little bit less of that crab in a barrel shit. For my eyes, I'm, I'm sure that's everywhere. But, for sure, for you sure. know, it'd be a, a, a warm embrace for everybody I noticed from the East. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, yeah. they cool, though. Yeah. Um, and and, they, and I, I hate like I hate to ask that whole E versus West because at the end of the day, we are from the city. Yeah, for it's sure. All it's different, as, though. Yeah. No, it's different for sure. <laughs> it's, the show, <laughs> it's the show different. Duh. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on the West Side. I ain't going to lie, bro. When I first moved over everything, I'm scared to go to a gas station. Like, bro, because, you know what I'm saying? You turn on news, though. <laughs> It's oh, wild, yeah, bro. Cause I'm GPSing everywhere I go on the west side, bro. Like, <laughs> you gotta Google it. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> it's like I can't believe, bro. I ain't I ain't stay on the east since what 2012, man. I yeah. just come over here cause you know I still got people over here a little bit. Yeah, but now like even all my hangout spots is on the west side now. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's definitely a difference between the two, bro. Yeah, y'all close to the river and like downtown and shit too. So like that yeah. shit is that's that's interesting to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like access to like. More shit to do, yeah. I think. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, you go to the club real quick, right up the street. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Good yeah. St. Andrew days and yeah, shit. Yeah, dog. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All that shit. Hell yeah, yeah, dog. Well, yeah. Uh, now you say it was your sister, your brother, and anybody at the crib or whatever, dog. So uh, with your dad being, you know what I'm saying, and your mom not together, did you ever like a- a- have questions about that junk or like ever be wondering, like, dog, or things be better if they were both together or you, know, you look at like shit, it's better that they wasn't together. You know what I'm saying? I I never really thought about it, but um, you know, those are conversations that I've had with them mm-hmm. recently. Like just okay. I didn't even bring them on. Like they just just come up. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and like, you know, just me growing up mm-hmm. and um, you know what I'm saying, considering fatherhood. I'm not a father yet, but you know, some shit I think about yeah. like what that shit would have been like. And I, I don't know. I yeah. I think it would have been cool, but you know, I wasn't able to process the problem, so for I sure. really don't no, know. For sure. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. But no, nah, it was cool. Because sometimes people ain't meant to be together, bro. Like, that's, a like, <laughs> that's a fact. That's a that's a fact. You know like, what I'm saying? I see why y'all ain't work out. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like what the hell is y'all still doing together? You know what I'm saying? For sure. You, you like y'all, you do look at them like y'all crazy. Like the yeah. you know, those old school relationships, y'all, your grandparents they go through this shit like they fight, they fight through the, the bullshit and whatever you know what I'm saying niggas cheated she cheating with the male with the milkman right <laughs> you know what I'm saying he got three families yeah for sure, <laughs> for sure. so a lot of times like sometimes it work out in a better that they, that, that they not together yeah. than being together you feel me mm-hmm. so you had that close relationship with your pops yeah for sure he was um he was mad close but he was like he was mad chill. He was a man yeah. of few words. Like, you sure. know what I'm saying? Or for he sure. is still, you know what I mean? A man of few words. But like, yeah, we had a, we had a strong connection though. For you know sure. What I'm for sure. So yeah, you definitely need that nowadays growing up, bro. Like, yeah. Is it, it ain't gotta be always your father, bro. Just a male influence that's a really person. gonna, gonna yeah. put some positivity in, in you or whatever, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not no bullshit. Cause you got niggas in the hood that don't give a fuck about your well-being that's gonna put you in fucked up situations. Man, that's a fact. And they and and it feel like they doing you a favor. Yeah. They don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like for that, sure. It's for sure. Guidance is important. Hell yeah. Not back on the growing up tip, bro. Who were some people, rappers, singers, whatever, that you was liking just based off what your mom and pops was playing? Mm. Like are you liking them just cause what they that's what they just playing. Just cause they listen like to mom cooking pancakes and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um shit. My pops, I got a lot of he listened to a lot of West Coast music. So like I fucked with like Pac. Mm. Dr. Dre, yeah, he was a big Rock Kim fan, so I kind of like that. For sure. But like in my mom's house, like when she moved in with like my step pops, it was like a Rockefeller house. Yeah, so like yeah, it was yeah. a lot of, a lot of Jay Z, a lot of Benny Siegel. For sure, you know what I mean. State property and yeah, um, and, and and the newer Dre shit, like you know, two thousand one Eminem. Yeah. So like I listened to a lot of that shit. Yeah, like, you yeah. know what I mean. What about an R&B to the R B too? You R B dude. Not, not. I'm not in the new school R and B. I hate to sound old, but like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, like, like, sure. like the the newer style R and B. I don't really keep up with it too, yeah. too, too much. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I fuck with Tim's. 
You, okay. you hit the Tims? No. The chick from um, you don't need no other body. The featured artist on there. Damn, I got it. No, I got it. You don't it. need no other body. That's like the biggest oh, oh, song oh, oh, ever. Oh, 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 yeah, I do, yeah, I do, yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, once you got your melody together, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, that's fair. That's okay. fair. <laughs> that I know you Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, she, oh, no. Uh, the featured artist on there, she, uh, um, I think she from, I think they both from Nigeria. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know exactly you talking about that. Her shit is fire. I'm myself. Yeah. Now her shit is fire. I fuck with her. Her fire her too, yeah, her yeah. Dog. That's one of Tish favorite favorite artists. So she Tish put me up on all my R and B shit. Yeah, that I do her. Uh, I mess with Daniel Caesar, even though he made that one little comment about yeah back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Right, but he got some dope music, dog. And I, I still vibe with like Brandy was like one of my favorites who people don't really rock with, bro. Brandy, yeah. my mama listened to Brandy. Yeah, that um sitting on top of the world. Mm -hmm. Now that you mention it, that was some shit that my mom used to yeah, listen. Yeah. She fuck with Brandy and Whitney Houston. Yeah, for sure. That's Hell that's yeah. what I remember from from back then. Hell yeah, dog. Cause you always you know you always like your first your first people you liking just cause your parents, bro. And like my mm -hmm. mom and dad. I remember my mom playing like Anita Baker and shit, and mm. and shit. My dad playing like the Four Tops and motherfucking Temptations and mm. shit. So I almost and then my dad. He be listening to some off the wall shit. And nigga racist but listening to all type of white music, bro. Like, <laughs> they caught him racist. <laughs> yeah, for, sure. like, for real. So I know about Paul McCartney. I know about Sting. I know oh, about yeah. U2. I know about all these Rod Stewart. Like, I'm knowing about these people, bro. Like, uh, who, George Michaels. Like, mm. I'm knowing about these people, bro. I'm hearing this shit. Then he go to Bob Marley. Then he go to the motherfucking Tupac. Will verse. Yeah, so it's like all these different people. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Curtis Mayfield, all that. You know, all that good throwback shit. So you was in a music household. Yeah, for sure, dog. Mm. That nigga was like, man, we had so many albums, CDs, cassettes, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, man, yeah. he was into that shit heavy. Yeah, my peoples was, um, so your pops was like, Older than you, like like oh, Yo, yeah, oh yeah. obviously older. Oh, yeah. than you. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like you yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah, he was like a, like an older. older dude. Yeah, he was. Yeah, uh, for sure. He, when he had me, he was like 32. Okay, yeah. So just a little, he ain't too much older than my pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. mom's was was fairly young. She was a few years younger than my dad, so she was still like in her 20s. He was in his like that's mid how my, late yeah, that's 20s how and shit. Was. Yeah, yeah, that's so, how shit was, dog. So yeah, they was all like, yeah, but it was a hip hop house. So we ain't really hear. See, I ain't hear rap, bro, until I got older. Mm. Like like I tell everybody, dog, and I can ask you this question: Who your first favorite rapper, bro? Because Miles was Hammer, nigga. Like, damn, Hammer and Chris Cross, <laughs> dog. Like, <laughs> my dad wasn't the only rapper was playing my house, bro. Was Tupac? Mm. That's the only rap I heard. So I had to when I got older, I had to go back and and, and hear Jay Z and Nas. And, yeah, and, 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 and backtrack. You know what I'm saying? I had to go back and listen to that shit, bro. My first favorite rapper on my own was probably Eminem. Okay. I really fucked with Eminem back when, like, like when he first came out. Yeah, you know for sure. Like I said, it was like Chronic 2001, so like we was like Aftermath, Dr. Yeah, Dre and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, you know, when I heard Eminem, I'm like, yo, he's mad dope. Hell for yeah. Sure. So, what, how you feel about him now though? Like as a as a rapper, dog? Because he get a lot. Of, I ain't gonna lie. He get a lot of hate from the city. Yeah. And the only thing that be confusing to me, like, who was he supposed to come back and get if he already like he 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 got his main people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Put them on. And I ain't gonna wanna hear no Solid Baby and no Eminem song together. You feel doesn't me? Sound, so doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how you feel about him now, um, and compared to when you know, saying you first, you know, saying became a, a fan of his. Um, I mean, I don't really listen to his music or keep up with it too much more now. But I don't think mm -hmm. I'm his target audience now neither. For you sure, know what I'm saying? Sure. So yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, he really yeah. make music for me. I yeah. still go back and fuck with the shit that I came up on. But yeah, yeah I mean, I don't know. He, you know, he a legend, bro. He yeah, doing this sure, He's different. Sure. Yeah. I, like, I, I think I don't think we can hold him to the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't. Because I never understood, like, bro, like, when they be What's saying that, at? like, who is he supposed to really come back and get, like, and yeah. he's older, bro, like. Yeah, motherfucker, 40-something years old, you know what I'm saying, what you want him to do, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Be in the hood, nigga. <laughs> and he's like a pop rapper now, like, what the, like, who the fuck he gonna come yeah. get? Right, yeah, that's a good question, like, who do y'all want to Yeah, like, I don't understand who he supposed to yeah. come back and get, dog, and work with, like, yeah. I mean, that'd be dope, man, shit, but at the end of the day, you got yeah. people like Big Sean for that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, he's doing he, it. Yeah, he's supposed to be the one. You People like me? that, you got to hold to a, a, a standard yeah. in a regard. But Eminem, like, I mean, he, he worked with a lot of local artists. You know what I'm saying? He had Obi. Mm -hmm. He worked with um, Trick Trick. Yep, you know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. He, he did like, it. The whole D12. D12. Yeah, like. The Nile is still doing shit. He came from that branch yeah. of Eminem. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, that shit. Yeah, so I don't be understanding that shit, though. Niggas yeah. be saying that shit. I'm be, what, do you, be what do you want? Motherfuckers <laughs> just be wanting to be mad at people, bro. Yeah, for sure. For, <laughs> for sure. sure. A reason to hate on somebody, yeah, bro. what like, the hell? You uh, know what I'm saying? Now, uh, before we get to the music, bro, back to growing up, like, was you into sports, bro, in yeah. high school? Uh, I ain't play nothing in high school, mm -hmm. but, um, like, as a kid, Little League, I played football mm -hmm. and I hooped. 
Okay. You know what I mean? Like uh, organized. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um. So you never was one of the ones with the hoop dreams, wanted to be in the league? Yeah, I, them shits got cut early. But, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? For sure. I'm short as hell, though. So, like, yeah, I just kind of like. You know what I mean? And I went to, uh, when I went to high school, I still did kind of was like, hmm, I'm going to give it a shot. Mm -hmm. But I went to Renaissance. Okay. So, okay. like, you know, I went the, the year, it might have been a year after they won, like, fucking. Within a few years of them women like winning state champs, men's and women, like this is a prestige hoop school at this mm -hmm. point. Like mm -hmm. they recruit motherfuckers to come hoop. Yeah, you know for sure. yeah, like, for sure. they, my little ass ain't about to get out there and, yeah. and shake nothing up. For so, sure. yeah, you know, yeah. I put that shit in perspective early. And then like football, like again, I'm yeah. What, what my little ass gonna yeah. do long term? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, it's only so so many that be that you know what I'm saying yeah, or height though. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you got, <laughs> hey, you got own that shit, bro. Man, because <laughs> my freshman year I went from five three to five eight. Like, all right, I'll be six one. I'm that's still, it. Still right here. Dog. That's all you got. That's all you still got. five eight, bro. I don't think I ever had a growth spurt. I just, <laughs> nigga, just nigga just grew gradually. Yeah. And just <laughs> Over the time, <laughs> right, just, just stayed on track and just stopped. Dude, I had a stupid growth spurt for my ninth to tenth grade year, though. I'm like, all right, bet I'm be at six one point guard, go yeah. overseas and shit, dog. Yeah, nigga, still same predicament, same size shoe, right. nigga. That's all that <laughs> shit, dog. Mad as hell. That man. shit funny. <laughs> Ain't nothing you could do about it. Now I heard like, uh, um, um, um. um Tell me if I'm wrong. You went to college, but you went to Western, right? Mm -hmm. And you uh you wound up like not finishing, dropped out because you wanted to focus solely on the on the, on the music shit. Yeah. How how your how your parents feel about that, bro? When you did that, like uh, uh, people like kind of saying like you crazy, you you know what I'm saying go to school, this that and the third. Uh, my parents didn't really say too much to me, but I didn't really say much to them about it. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Because like like when I left, I was kind of just I always been responsible, so they don't like hold my hand or, or like check on me heavy mm -hmm. and like they wasn't like paying for my shit so they ain't like you know what I'm saying where's your report card <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> so like you know I just I, I, I stopped going and yeah. I stayed up there so I was up there for two years okay and um, I ended up enrolling into the community college while I was up there. So okay. I got out of Western. It was yeah. largely financial because I'm not about to pay all this money Hell if I'm not yeah. focused on it. So That's I was so. still taking a few classes up at the community college mm -hmm. but um, in between, because it was a semester where I didn't go. Okay. In between, my roommates and shit, and like the people around was kind of looking like, "What the fuck are you gonna do?" Like, yeah, you know what I mean? sure. like yeah, you, yeah. you about to rap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah, and, this, sure. and this was like right on the the cusp of where everybody was a rapper. Like, yeah. So much so to the point where it was people back then yeah. that I know that are like rapping or trying to rap now yeah. fucking 10 years later <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah, was on some whole other shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. And so it, it looked more crazy then yeah. than it would now. Yeah, you know, yeah, now, yeah. You, now if people don't take you serious, they kind of just look at you like a joke. Niggas yeah. was really concerned. Like, what is going <laughs> to you? You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, what the fuck like, are you thinking? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, I got you. I got it. But yeah, no, nah, um, <laughs> Yeah, I stopped going, and yeah. um, but I just felt it like you know what I mean. Like my first semester at Western, I was there on a transfer scholarship. Okay. So my grades was already good, and when I got there, my first semester, I had like a three point three or three point four. So I was doing my shit. Yeah, for sure. Then like once I started rapping, like doing shows or whatever, I just stopped going to class. Like my yeah. grades just slipped, and I was like, you know, I ain't, I'm not about to fight to build this shit back up. I've been through this in high school, so yeah, for sure. I'm just gonna do my thing. Yeah, but yeah. I ended up, I ended up getting my degree like four, five years later, associates. For sure, for sure. For sure. And, it's, and that's okay though, because some people be yeah. thinking like. You know, you got high school, we're supposed to go straight to college, and that's it. Like, yeah. But sometimes, you you know what I'm saying, you go to a, a trade school. Sometimes it's, it's yeah. other things besides going to college, because if you ain't focused or you don't know what you really want to do, yeah. you don't want to waste that time and money. Man, that's a lot of money and time to waste, bro. Yeah, dog. I went to college, man, for uh, all of a month. <laughs> you know, a so, month? Yeah, I tried to go. Dog, my whole goal was to go to Eastern Michigan, bro. Because my right. girlfriend at the time, I'm like, go to Michigan State. I'm gonna go to Eastern because I know my grades ain't good enough for that shit. Mm -hmm. But then, my, shit, my grades wasn't good enough for Eastern either, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, so we had to go to a junior college. Went to Macomb. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Got with my uh, high school girlfriend. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Left my other girlfriend shit. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how that works. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Got her pregnant, bro. I'm in class. It's like thinking about. Like, fuck, I'm gonna have a baby, bro. What I'm about to do. I'm in this in, in, in this business class, like, hey, man, focus, bro. Like, mm -hmm. we doing, like, group projects. I'm in mean, that bitch ain't doing shit. Ain't, yeah. ain't bringing nothing to the group, nigga. Like, man, fuck this. Yeah. Got my little couple of dollars and shit <laughs> and just kept it moving, bro. Like, I always say I wanted to go back, but I don't know, dog. I don't know. So what you do when you stop going? Just, like, working? Just mm -hmm. grinding? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I feel like All I did, dog, was just mm -hmm. work, dog. Like, the music shit didn't come about for me, though, until, like, my son was one. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that was my... 
like easy way to make a million. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that shit of didn't course. work either. <laughs> yeah, that shit work either. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the fucking hardest way to make a million. <laughs> like you said, this back like 2009, bro. 2010, yeah, yeah. like, all right, I could do this music shit, bro. It's easy. <laughs> that nigga said my verse hard. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas like me, bro. They go feel this shit. <laughs> I'm on MySpace and shit, <laughs> bro. I just knew it, dog. I was trying to do a Wayne approach and do uh, 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 songs on other niggas' beats Freestyles and shit. And shit yeah. Man, that shit didn't work, bro. I'm mm. still waiting to get that million, man. Hey, it's our son in ninth grade now. <laughs> <laughs> dog. So, so you say you, you you still got your associate's degree and shit like that, dog? Yeah. So uh, here's a question I uh, kind of relate to that. That I ask, uh, what's some shit, dog? As a younger bro. That you th- you thought about wanting to, wanting to be or pursue that you never told nobody like some embarrassing shit, bro. Like, like, like I say, I wanted to you know be a tap dancer and shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gregory Hines Jr. This motherfucker, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, this is this is like like some childhood shit. I, I yeah, would have sure, liked yeah. to have been a wrestler at one point. <laughs> I fucked with wrestling. Like, I, hey, dog. Keep your shirt. Oh, yeah, my sure. niggas, both of them. Dog, hell yeah. <laughs> dog, you got... I know you had one, dog. What, what was your finisher move, man? Everybody had their finisher move, though. Bro, the, again, I'm a little-ass nigga, so I got to do I got to do what I got to do. All I had was a pedigree, dog. <laughs> you don't really dude. need no hang time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Just kick a nigga. That's man. all I had. I just do it real quick. Dog. That's all I had. My shit was always a DDT off the top rope, though. Right? Oh. So, the basic DDT off the couch, nigga. Like, off the couch, yeah. Bro, we we, we used to be in that bitch <laughs> wrestling our ass off, dog. Hell yeah. We made a belt out of the little box, and dog. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. One of my, um, like my older cousins through marriage, mm-hmm. like, you know, we used to like wrestling shit. He mm-hmm. was heavy in it. He was like, what, like 10 years older than us. Mm-hmm. He used to like make belts and shit. Hell yeah. And um, he fucked around and really became like a pro wrestler. Oh, like, he not like, um... He not in the WWE or nothing, yeah, but you know it's a lot of smaller circuits. For sure, for He's sure. He's a pro wrestler, I believe. I don't like Colorado. I'm like, yo, that shit is crazy. Hell, that's dope as hell. That's dope as a motherfucker, man. Dog, what's a, what's a, give me a wrestling memory, dog. Like, one that you like remember, dog. Like, I was at the fucking um, I believe it was a Joe. I was at the Joe yeah. when um, the I Rock threw Stone Cold I I over the motherfucking <laughs> shit. I was <laughs> devastated, bro. I was sick as hell. I was, and I'm looking at the try like, no. <laughs> No, 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 not still cold. No, I was happy. We went to school. Like, nigga, you said nigga. This nigga's no color, dude. No. Nigga, was, nigga was traumatized by that shit. Like, nigga, we went to school talking about that shit like a motherfucker. No, you said nigga stone cold. Nigga, bell out. Nigga. Bro. Over the Bell Isle Bridge. That nigga Ron, that shit was funny. That nigga, fuck you. <laughs> not that nigga down, bro. Damn. Man, I just remember, dog. One of my uh, one of my uh, wrestling memories, bro, was uh, I remember Bret Hart, nigga, and um, Stone Cold. When that nigga put that nigga in sharpshooter, that nigga was bleaking blood, dog. And he just, nigga shit was cut the fuck up, and dog. That nigga, that blood used to fuck me up when I used to see him. <laughs> like, damn, dog, he really hurt, <laughs> dog. But the best shit about wrestling me, dog, was the Royal Rumbles, dog. I've only seen like I think I've seen like one or two of them bitches in like bro. like an actual match watching it, but yeah, yeah that yeah. shit is some crazy yeah. shit. And shit, rest in peace to Razor Ramon, though. That nigga really had me think he was Cuban, dog. <laughs> like for real, like, I thought he was a Cuban for real, Yo, dog. Chico, dog, that was my nigga, dog. Yeah, I fucked with him. All right, dog. Top three wrestlers, bro. Then we got this shit. Dog. My top three wrestlers: Stone Cold. Yeah. I fucked with the Undertaker. Yeah, I hate the Undertaker, bro. You hated the Undertaker. I didn't hate him, but I was was I was a fan of the old one, nigga, with the arm with Paul Bear. Yeah, when he was really kind of scary. And then he yeah, scary like, yeah, Undertaker yeah, for sure. He became yeah, like that yeah. motorcycle nigga. I'm I feel like, that. I feel <laughs> that. Um, Stone Cold, the Undertaker, and um, I'm gonna say it because he, he 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 wasn't. The best wrestler, but yeah. he was my nigga. Yeah. The fucking road dog. Oh yeah, road dog. I love the road yeah, dog. Road dog. I love the road, road dog. <laughs> I love the road dog. You don't know my road dog, nigga, do you? Oh shit, that nigga. Uh, 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 oh, you didn't shit. know? <laughs> Yo ass better call. Yeah, yeah, dog. Him and him and Billy Gunn and yeah, shit. Yeah, he used to get his ass whooped. Yeah. That was my dog. <laughs> dog. The weakest wrestler I like was motherfucking six uh, S Pop. Oh man, he couldn't hold his own. That nigga was one, shit. two, three kid back in the day, bro. Ooh, you nigga. taking it back? Yeah, my shit was my top three was Shawn Michaels, nigga. My first. That was my nigga. Stone too. Cold, dog. And then nigga, like, wasn't I was a fan when I was like a little kid. Was Ultimate Warrior, bro. 
Bro, me and my brother was talking about that shit. That nigga was definitely I, on cocaine. I, <laughs> like, was, hey, man, macho man. Nigga. Hey, look, I love the Ultimate Warrior as a character, but I've never seen him wrestle. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. ain't never seen him wrestle, but he just looked dope. But yeah. Macho Man was my nigga, though. Yeah. Macho nigga, Man was That my nigga was nigga. like, nigga, that nigga was cold with the promo, boy. That Duh, nigga I was watching some of that shit on YouTube not Duh, too long ago. Me too. Ago. That nigga was dope, dog. Yeah. He was like, Macho Man. Rest in peace, man. Hell yeah. Duh, Macho, a lot of people be done. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah, a lot of people be passing away in wrestling, bro. Yoko's Yokozuna, he was big yeah. though. Niggas on steroids, Mr. Perfect, nigga. Like mm. a lot of niggas be dead, maybe be dying, bro. Chris Benoit, that shit was crazy. Yeah, nigga wound up killing his whole family yeah, and shit. That was dog. fucked like, up. That, that shit that, wild. That hell. shit was left, man. Owen Hart, he died in the ring. Nigga, yeah, that, that was that was rough too. Yeah. To be a kid, I don't think I seen that live, but to to hear bro, about these it kids was nowadays would never understand how dope wrestling used to be, bro. Man. This shit weak as fuck. Now I don't know what the fuck <laughs> this shit is. Try to watch this shit with my son. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like this ain't nothing how it used to be, bro. Look at these niggas. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Hell yeah, dog. Shit, off that man. I always get hyped about wrestling, bro. Yeah. That was my sure. shit back in the day, man. Yeah. Motherfuck- Hold on, real quick, dog. Remember Nation Domination, dog? We are the <laughs> nation. Farouk in that bitch, dog. Domination. That nigga had your afro nigga that bitch. Like- <laughs> 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 nigga, uh, Savio Vega, dog. Fuck it. Was D-Lo Brown in that shit? Yep, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What's the pimp nigga name, dog? Uh, The Godfather. Yeah, pimping ain't easy and shit, dog. <laughs> pimping ain't. <laughs> dog, the rock was in that bitch, nigga. Like, <laughs> dude, niggas. Then they start recruiting white niggas, white niggas on that shit, dog. <laughs> They had uh, Bradshaw on that shit. Dog. Fucking Bradshaw, dog. <laughs> How you gonna get white niggas on Nation Domination, dog? That's your funny as hell, dog. Goddamn. Good throwback wrestling, Hey, man, dog. equal opportunity employers. You know what I'm saying? Man, for real, dog. Man, for all right, sure. man. Back to the music shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> man. Well, uh, I, I ask this question, too, a lot, dog. Like, a song or an album, bro, it'll take you back to a time in your life, bro. Like, it could be, like, Shit, recent back in the day, like every time you hear this song or this CD, mm. you like, damn. I remember I was at Western. I remember I was, you know what I'm saying. Um, that first Dream Chasers mixtape take me back to Western. Oh shit, for yeah, sure. That that, that that was that was my shit when mm-hmm. I was go, going back and forth to class. But it's a song. Yeah, Scarface on my block. It's it's oh, not man. an album. It's a song. But Scarface yeah. on my block just take me right back to being like nine years old. You okay, know yeah, you know? hell yeah, You're just hanging. For my sure. pops was listening to that shit a lot, and like I remember watching a music video. Like, yeah. I used to watch BET and MTV like religiously. Man, hell yeah, MTV jams, yeah, all the good yeah, BET yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn, yeah. Walsh's in part, the basement, yeah, Cedar's world, fucking Cedar's world. What was that shit at night though? You know you up too late, bro. Yeah, that shit. You know you know you. <laughs> On some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you must be a bad nigga. You seen the cars <laughs> going down, chicks' asses. No, like, what the fuck? I don't think I ever seen Tip Drill on Uncut. I just seen it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. I, th- I think I did too, though. Yeah, like, I don't think I ever caught that shit live. Yeah, because uh, t- uh, Lil Chris had his song and then Nelly had his song. They both had like some old perverted songs and shit on them. <laughs> Talk about perverted. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, no, Matt, now, would y'all start with music, bro? Belief, growth. And Cure, right? Kingship. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that, what was that about, though? That was like, that was a group, that was a label? Yeah, that was a, um, it was, I guess, both the group and the label. That mm-hmm. was uh, me and my homies, uh, Fresco, who I mentioned earlier, Tish. Okay. Um, my homie, Laddie Stacks. Yeah. Uh, it was a few of us, and um, that was just our collective, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We was friends in high school. For sure. And then, like I said, we used to freestyle. Once we decided we was going to do it, everybody kind of just picked up a role. Yeah. And, um... You know that was that was the name we came up with just to just to do our thing. And you and so you want so you want to do music as far back in what high school, middle school. Like when was you serious about that shit? I ain't take it serious until I started doing it. Um, mm-hmm. I wrote raps like off and on in high school yeah. and like when I was in like middle school, I was heavy on like the writing raps, but yeah. I never thought it was like a. It was never like, yeah, I'm about to grow up and be a rapper. Like, yeah, that wasn't sure, like yeah. a real thought. It was just like, you know, this yeah. shit fun. This shit hype. Hell yeah. I love music. I'm writing raps. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I ain't started taking that shit serious till it started happening in yeah. like 2011. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. for sure, for sure. Now, talk about the studio shit, bro. Like, your first time in the studio, sometimes it could be different from rapping at the crib. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's easy rapping at home, but then you get the mic, mic uh, headphones on you behind that mic, dog. And it, shit might not go as 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 planned. As dog. planned, yeah. So how how was that shit, dog? What's some shit that what's some shit that you got have in your studio session, bro? To make it like a, a good a good session. Well shit, now now I don't need nothing. Mm-hmm. I just I just go. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I kinda I kinda record out my crib, so like I don't really need like no feng shui or nothing. But yeah. once upon a time I could only write in blue ink. 
<laughs> I can only write my raps like the first like four five years. Yeah, I only wrote raps. In so the you, blue if ink. you got a green pencil, I mean green pen is a rap totally. dog. You ain't, you ain't touching if that. Niggas got a black pen. I'm not writing that bitch, bro. Duh. You gotta find me a blue one. You know what I'm saying? That was that was that was early on, but uh, I was comfortable from the get go. You know what I'm What's saying? Up? Like you learn and get better as you go. But I was never really like, yeah, you know. Like I see some people, they don't. I know niggas who don't even like to rap with the headphones on. Like they just need to fucking. Duh. Like they had the headphones there so they can hear the beat and they just rap. Like yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I never had like none of that. You yeah, know, yeah, fortunately, sure. it felt kind of natural. And so. you know, as a person, like I, you know, some people gotta have drinks. Some people gotta have a crowd of people. Some people gotta, you know, what I'm saying, do the smoking. Like I, I found out a long time ago, I can, I couldn't drink and record. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> me neither. Yeah, I don't. I, I never really did. I do. I drink now if I want, but yeah. I usually. Record sober And I don't like A lot of people around Cause yeah. it's like Especially if they ain't there For no reason Yeah like, I'm here on business And it's like Everybody turn into The fucking producer Jermaine yeah. Dupree When you in the fucking studio You know what I'm saying yeah, Like sure. Oh you should do this Or Hey bro Like you know what I'm saying yeah. Like that That's some shit that, That'll piss me off <laughs> yeah, yeah, You know what yeah. I mean Like if I'm like Nigga never wrote so ain't like Yeah <laughs> like You know what I mean I'm working on the line And it's like This is just a part of the, the process Like yeah. I just need to think it through For sure And niggas be like Well say this Like bro I don't need you to tell me <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, need nah, you to tell on, I don't nigga. need you to tell go me What on, to say yeah, yeah, for yeah for sure So well, I try to keep them As small as possible you For know sure what I'm For sure For, for sure. sure Now dog In 2012 You dropped Barely in Music Barely right. Money Barely Money I'm tripping I was half asleep It's all good No, it's all good So when you drop that I know for sure you thought you were getting a deal right after the drop. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> for you sure. Tell so, me shit. Yeah, so like, to walk me to that, that, that whole little process of dropping that, you know what I'm saying, you, you see you didn't get the deal right away because we all we all think first episode of podcast is going to get picked we up. Know, we going crazy. You know what I'm saying? We going global, dog. Like, once you realize like it's going to take some work, like, like how was your mindset then? Um. Well, Better Than Money was my first time recording. Mm-hmm. In a studio I went to my uncle's studio My uncle Wave You know what I'm saying He welcomed, welcomed us in That was my first time Recording in a studio And recording on my own beats Prior to that I was pretty much just like Like you say Like over other niggas beats And For shit sure. Like mixtape shit So yeah. It felt good You yeah. know what I'm saying Like damn I'm really making this shit From, from nothing yeah, You know what I mean And um when we recorded it, we released it. I still, again, I didn't think I was gonna be no big ass rapper, so I didn't have huge expectations. But yeah. I'm like, yo, this shit's so dope. It gotta do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. That's but, how we all think. <laughs> yeah, but it got around yeah, locally. You know what I'm sure. saying? So I was, I garnered a decent amount of local success, and I was at Western. Yeah. I had people that like, I had homies at State, mm -hmm. U of M, Eastern. Yeah. So like, the shit was like connecting. Like, and Twitter was starting to get popping. For sure. So like, I was feeling like people fucking with my shit. So mm -hmm. it felt good and. You know, the deal didn't come, but I didn't trip. For sure. Because, you know, I was fucking with Nip. I happened to have on my Crenshaw shirt today. Sure, you know, so sure. I was yeah, with yeah. the Indie Wave. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I kind of had an understanding of that. Yeah. So I was just grinding. You for know sure. what I mean? So I that that was one of the high points in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For I, sure. I enjoyed that time period a yeah, lot. Yeah. It was all good. Now, piggyback on that, though, how do you continue, dog, if, like, success is not coming fast enough? Because, you know, most, most people... Shit, two, three years in, be like, man, it ain't coming fast enough. I'm good. Like, the money ain't coming. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know how we thinking. The chicks ain't coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this shit's so like, slow. Yeah, so. <laughs> you looking crazy. Again, yeah, you looking crazy. So, so how <laughs> you continue on and keep that, that mindset to keep pushing if it ain't if, if, if it ain't coming fast enough? You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, for one, you got to really love that shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. Like, you got to really love something to keep going and, mm -hmm. like... I didn't understand this at the time, but part of the reason I was able to keep going because mm -hmm. I liked it. I set challenges for myself. It was just fun. You for know sure. what I mean? So I was able to stay on task that way. Mm -hmm. And um, two, I believed in it. For sure. Like, regardless, I knew it would be a hard road, so I believed in it and accepted that. But yeah. third, and this is something that um, I try to talk to people about in anything, mm -hmm. Um I set it up to where financially, if it didn't work, it, it wouldn't did. kill me. For sure, you, you got to. I mean? You got to. Like, if you banking on that, you know what I'm saying, to you know, make your bread, bro. You going you going I've seen that shit pay out, plan out, pan out so many different ways for yeah. artists. Where like, you know, they quit their job, or mm -hmm. you know, they start making a little money, and they, you know, what I'm saying, get the big head, yeah. and then you know, they don't realize how fickle shit is, and you know, or they gotta. Sell they sell very short because they need the money. Yeah, need and it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah, people think that like, oh, you gotta dive all in on a dream, and yeah. to an extent you do. But you know, me personally, like I always kept 
you know, other avenues of money, whether it's a job, side mm -hmm. business, sure. investments or whatever the fuck to where, you know, if this shit don't work, you ain't going to be messed up. I'm not just yeah. assed out with, with <laughs> 10 sure. years of nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, just fast, in <laughs> and this bitch dreams. So like, if I put this shit out and it don't do shit. Yeah. The, no, it's funny you say that yeah, shit. As soon as you say that shit, I thought about um that that, that movie. Uh, was it? Damn, with Taraji P. Henson. And she with my man's, and they, he 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 got this little business idea that's gonna make bread, but it takes so long. Like her thing, her parents passed away, her mom passed away. She got all this money. Is it alimony? Ag uh, some acrimony. acrimony, yeah. And mm. she got all this bread, so she didn't put all this bread into his his idea, and that motherfucker didn't pan out, bro. And it took so long down the line their relationship until it, it wound up blowing up. But they was already she left the nigga because mm. she was like, I'm tired of supporting your dream. Get a regular job This shit ain't working It's been 15 years 20 years That shit blow up But they not together This nigga This nigga She got <laughs> mad at him Cause he turned down 800,000 But he like Dog this company Willing to give me that Is worth way more nah, It's way more Yeah, and he wound That's up getting fact. So much bread That he He, he wrote her out A check for like 2 mil mm. Some I could be wrong On the number But And then she got pissed off Because everything He talked about with her As far as they dream house Dream uh, Yeah everything He did it with another woman Cause she left him <laughs> and, and that's bro. That, like so, when you say like, don't put your all into it. That nigga put his all into it. Hey, that, I, I won't say don't do it. Oh no, for but sure. You know what I'm saying? Because that's work true. That, you you see shit like that. Look at Apple, Steve Jobs. You know yeah. them niggas. Like if if you really got some shit and you believe in it, then you got to do what the fuck you got to do. Me mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. I don't expect my life to pan out. That way, I for need sure. a little bit of proof, bro. Oh no, like, for, you sure. Know what I mean? for sure. I mean, insurance. I, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> hey, hey. Like when it when it build up to the point where it's like, you know, like I got numbers like in my head. So we're like, all right, once the music start generating this, yeah. I can walk away from this for other sure, shit and sure. then focus. But yeah, yeah. I can't. I'm not walking around just <laughs> just piss broke Duh, yeah. trying to. You know what I mean? For day Duh. in day out, because you miss so much. Yeah, in my yeah. opinion, from how no, I want to live my life. So he did miss out on a lot. Yeah. Like he was putting this all into this damn oh, shit. machine he was doing, dog. Yeah. She mad as hell. Like he named the boat after this new chick. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she's sick. <laughs> now, hey, on the flip side of that, yeah. you gotta. But if you in that situation, you gotta believe in that person yeah, too. You, you know what I mean? She could be too mad because he like, hey, listen, you was behind me this whole little thing. Shit, he go broke her off. Two mil. T broke her off. Like I like broke her off. Off. Like no, it wasn't. You know what? It was ten million. So you know he got some money. Well, <laughs> hey, what can she say though? You know what I'm saying? Well, she was mad, like you know, what I'm saying he had, he had that top story of part. Uh, you know, what I'm saying top of the yeah. high rise. He up there, yeah. and she like, dog, all this shit supposed to be me. Like, yeah, you but, gotta ride it. If you gonna go that route, you gotta ride it got, out. And she wound up going again, going crazy. Got married. Her sister, like, you told me to leave him. Like, Hey, if you don't ride it out, you going if you don't ride it out, you gotta deal with whatever come. You know yeah, what I mean? And that sure. go for like, you know, me. If yeah. I don't if I don't go all in and for I sure. don't get everything out of it, I gotta live with that. For you sure, know what I mean? For so sure, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's yeah, all dog. about what you're willing to tolerate. Oh no, that's a fact. That's a fact, dog. For sure. Now, uh top of the year, January, you dropped a uh, scene. Yeah. Uh how you feel like with this, with this tape, bro? Like you feel like it's it got the it's getting some love or it's still too early because it's still, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's still time, like how you feel when you put out a new project, bro? Like, what, and what's your expectations when you put out a new project? Um, I'd be nervous. I'd be excited. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, my expectation, I try to keep them realistic. I set, like, little goals. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, sure. I, I want to get X amount or whatever, whatever. Yeah. But, um, scene did about what I was hoping that it would do. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it garnered a, a good amount of attention. Mm. Um, connected some dots for me. You for know sure. what I'm saying? For like, sure. um... You know, I, I I still want to shoot a few more videos to it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, and do that. But yeah, no, scene. I think scene went pretty well. You feel me? And um, and how you how you come up with that name, scene? Scene is uh, I took that shit from a book, mm -hmm. um, called Darren Greatly. It's okay. a lady named Brene Brown. She uh, like a psychologist. Okay. Um, I believe that's what her title is, or so she's a social worker, I believe. But okay. um, anyway. She like famous You yeah. know what I mean She like Netflix documentaries Like big time But sure. anyway Her concept is like um, The key to happiness mm -hmm. And like a full quality of life yeah. Is to be willing to You know what I mean Be be your raw self And and, and accept yourself Like your flaws Your mistakes For sure. and, and be willing to look stupid And have people judge you And be alright with it You yeah, know what I mean So sure. that, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what the title scene was Like yeah. to be To be seen Is to be 
to be whole, you know what I mean? Just yeah, to be yeah, appreciated yeah. as you are and to live in your truth, you know what I mean? For so sure. that's what that was yeah, about. There's a lot of niggas out here faking their joint. Man, every day. <laughs> faking this shit. Every, every day. Little, yeah, for sure. Every day. Now, I always do this thing, dog, depending on the length of the project. It was 10 songs, so I did my top five. Okay. And you do your top five. Mm. So my top five from the project is, uh, I think this is the best song on that motherfucker, dog. It's Marble Floors. Mm. That's my favorite song on there. My dog. Yeah, that shit hard. Marble Floors, uh, The Life and Times. Mm. Uh, my ghetto POV, mm. uh, hard liquor two, and uh, Brittany Bands. I said that right, right? That's Brene. Brene. Brene that's okay. what that's what's okay. from Brene. Brene. It, it looked like Brene. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah it's yeah, Brene, Brene though. Bands. Yeah, that was my top five. What's yours? Um, ooh, my top five in my lifetime for show. Um, hard liquor up there. Mm. I like stars. Um. Uh, my ghetto point of view, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I, I like marble floors too. Yeah, I like that's hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like marble floors. I fuck with that junk, dog. Yeah. yeah, and it's a dope project. I ain't saying that just because you nested me, dog. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you know it. I've been saying that junk even with the group. You, you and Tish, dog. She doped them up too and yeah, stuff like that. For dog. sure. I reached out to her right when I had talked to you and stuff like that. Yeah. I told her, that, uh, you know, she got to come and rock on. You know, I know she couldn't come with you. Yeah, yeah. She can come on. You know, saying talk. Whatever about her stuff too We gonna get her through here Now uh, we do this jump man Called Talk About the Bars bro I take a couple pieces From a song We okay. break it down Talk about this shit That's if good I, if, I, if I mess up on the, You know what I'm saying It's all me. good It's all good For <laughs> now, sure Now on uh, Hard Liquor too. Yeah You say if you really needed it, If you really needed something Just communicate it Right You my brother dog I hold you down But they but they gave us the run around But you gave us but the run around But you gave us the run around So talk about that dog If you really need it You know what I'm saying You should communicate it Yeah but A that, lot of times we don't you know, you got too much pride, dog, to let niggas know, like, when you need help and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that was a situation where, uh, you know, we had some, some business on the flow yeah. with, like, a close homie. Yeah. And uh, some money came up missing. For sure. And uh, so, you know, we did the Mystery Zinc shit. For sure. And, and, <laughs> and tried to spot the source. And, um, yeah. you know, dude ended up having it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And, um... We got it back, you know, it wasn't no smoke or nothing. Yeah. But um, you know, that song was just like the opportunity, like, I don't understand why you would do that shit. For sure. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? If if it was a situation where you needed some extra money, like if it was really some shit going on, yeah. you could have just talked to niggas. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Like yeah. we um you know, we 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 humans. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. me and my homies, that's one thing I appreciate about my homies. Like we yeah. good, we we genuine people. We look out for each other. Like for yo, sure. you need a little extra or something? Yeah. We gonna look out for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, How it's supposed to be? Yeah, for sure. And like case in point, not to put too much out there, but mm -hmm. you know, in that in the situation that I'm talking about, you know what I mean? We ended up coming off of a little bit more money than what we were initially entitled to, based on you know mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah, and we took that money. And, and spread it out amongst some of the homies who, you know what I mean, didn't get enough off the initial play. For you sure, know what I'm saying? Sure, like, yeah, like we yeah, looked yeah. out. Like, yeah, it was yeah. just like, oh, you know, X, Y, Z didn't happen. Yeah. This our shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it was like, fuck it, dog. everybody eat. You yeah, know what I mean? We got yeah. extras. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. And it could have been the same way had it been whatever the situation was. And you know what I yeah. mean? Um, conversations are still yet to fully be had on that. So, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like... Yeah. I don't know the real reason why either, but for you know, sure. I'm a, it's on my bucket list to find out. Oh yeah, for, for sure, sure, for sure. Now, uh, life and times. You said deeply invested in pictures. I know I couldn't paint. Mm. We need to hear your story. Tell it. You, uh, you shouldn't wait. Yeah. Now with that one, I just watched this um this interview and made me think about this junk with Michael Beasley, mm. and he was just on um this podcast called The Pivot, mm -hmm. uh, and he was telling he was telling his story. But he was like, my man was like, dog, instead of like being so, instead of holding that junk in, you need to get your story out, bro. Yeah. Because niggas need to hear it. And you could be helping somebody down the line who coming up behind you who be Facts. in the same situation. Facts. So that's what you like, You basically talking about, like, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Like, niggas want to hold that in because sometimes you could be too embarrassed, bro. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? for sure, bro. Like, like, one thing that, like, and people tell me all the time, like, oh, I appreciate your music because, mm -hmm. you know, they, they say it's, it's so deep. I'm like, bro, I don't even know. It's not even just deep. I'm just telling my story as yeah. it is. You know what I mean? But people don't do that shit enough that it seems so foreign mm -hmm. when you hear certain concepts come up. Yeah. But when you share your shit, it'll That's fuck with you on the duh, inside. But then you realize sure. everybody be going through the same exact duh, shit. But you don't even be... <laughs> you know? think it's just you. Yeah, yeah. Like, shit, this, this, this. They all yeah. going through the same shit. And they might need to hear your story just to... Cause you were strong enough to get through it. Like, damn, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Damn, this how they did it. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I look... That's like... 
as a as a listener of music mm. so like i always tell people i'm an emotional listener because yeah. like if i hear somebody say some shit and yeah. i connect with it and it's like like damn well when i go through it yeah. too it'd be like oh well you know such and such said this yeah for and, sure. and you know what i mean it become like a mantra for you and you can like yeah. inspire people through sharing your story hell but, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, and that, like I, I advise everybody watch this interview bro on the pivot though it's like three former nfl players that's channing and um channing, uh, and, then, uh, and fred clark yeah ryan clark yeah, yeah yeah for sure and like i said michael beasley he was basically like just talking about his struggles with with life and like he just want to hoop Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying He said he a lot of fake friends A lot of fake relationships Yeah He reached out to people Niggas didn't help But as soon as he fucked up Niggas was talking about How stupid he was Exactly But like nigga I asked you for help bro And you just left me on on red mm-hmm. As soon as I fuck up Make a mistake Now you they d- Now you me. clowning me You know yeah, what I'm saying for sure It was like it was, it was It was a quick one 45 minutes It could have been a little longer But uh, yeah He was just saying like Nigga don't come out the house He don't do nothing bro He mm-hmm. just mess with his kids And and go hoop in the gym And they was basically Telling him like Dog you just need to find You some real niggas around yeah. And they was like Nigga shit Reach out to us mm-hmm. Like we'll, we'll fuck with you You know what I'm saying Yeah so, and, and you need that You yeah. know what I mean And then sometimes It's like and, and I didn't watch that But I do I watched I Am Athlete You yeah. know before they split Or whatever For sure And they share a lot of stories From these people And it's like You know these niggas Are celebrities yeah. And that's what the media Puts it out there to make you like, oh, look, you know, look at this idiot. Yeah, you know, for sure. I'm saying, look yeah, at this, yeah, fucking yeah. all this money off. But then you hear the full story, you be like, like damn. that shit real. Like, yeah, I would have yeah. did the same shit. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Hell yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So people for need sure. to need to share that story. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. Like I said, you be, and then I think some athletes you just need somebody. You know what I'm saying That's why most of these teams Don't be having no vets You need some vets You mm-hmm. need people in there to be like, Hey man I went through this shit hey, Don't fuck with these chicks Don't You know what I'm saying yeah. Invest your money This first this first deal Ain't a good deal Just start blowing off And you know yeah. what I'm saying Trying to take care of everybody and Facts shit. So yeah you need that shit bro Facts Now uh, on my ghetto uh, point of view Before the bar I'm talking about You was like on this In, in this particular verse You talking about basically like your uh your grandma seeing that like, shooting going down in places that you you know what I'm saying be at. Yeah. She telling your little sister not to be in the city. So you you like she told my little sister stay out the D because it ain't safe. That's fair advice, but I don't feel the same way. Mm. Uh, f- with that, with you saying that, dog, like you see a lot of murders and you see a lot of stuff going on from people mm-hmm. who popular in their hometown. So with you saying that, like, do you feel like you come back, but under certain circumstances, like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I, w- talk about that. Um. Well, in that line in particular, mm. it's like, you know, my granny, like, she, like, worried some granny. You know what I'm saying? Don't want nothing to happen. So, like, anytime she sees some shit, she be, uh, uh-huh. if I tell her I'm going somewhere, she's like, oh, be careful. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I know how I go, uh-huh. granny. I'm going to be careful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it's a lot of people, not just her, but they, you know what I'm saying? They're like, like yo, you make it, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Go live your life. Lead sure. this shit. Whatever, don't worry about this shit. These niggas gonna be exactly where they at. Da 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 da. You know, I'm sure we don't all heard it. For sure. But I feel like, you know, touching back on the story shit, we kind of got an obligation. I think if you have something to offer or contribute to your people, that you stay around in some capacity. Yeah. And, and show it. You know for what sure, I mean? For and sure. also, I think that sometimes like the city get a bad rap like yeah it's real shit niggas dying mm-hmm. but some of this shit be personal yeah, like you know what sure. i mean it yeah, got no you facts. scared to go around people and come yeah. out the house you fucking <laughs> living in fear every day and it's <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Nigga, you 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 probably statistics show statistically you're probably gonna be all right yeah, for <laughs> <You> sure, <laughs> <laughs> nothing them niggas are not coming for you yeah yeah, you ain't <laughs> yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying so like you know you, sure. you 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 got shit you would like to be doing but you you living in fear you yeah, know what i'm saying that, sure. that's kind of what that line was like like no i'm not gonna yeah. i got you i feel you but yeah no nah, if i want to do some shit i'm gonna be as careful as i can sure, i'm gonna fucking sure. do it yeah, i'm gonna call you when i get home this time yeah i'm it. good <laughs> yeah i'm sending you for a sure. selfie in the bar and shit you know what i'm saying we straight for sure for sure and like i said dog like you just with me, you just got to know where to be. You know where not to be at a certain Hell time. Yeah. Hell Don't go yeah. to gas station at twelve. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what you know what not to do. You know you know where not to be. You've been in the city long enough to know yeah. where to be and where not to be. You mitigate your risk and uh, shit. Motherfuckers die outside of the city. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sure. Fucking. You know, planes crash, yeah. like anything can happen. You yeah. know what I mean? You just be as safe as you can and you yeah. just got to be like, shit, I'm not in full control. For sure, for sure. You know what I mean? Like I said, you, and like I said that same song, you talk some shit on that one. I like that shit, though. You was like, uh, I've yet to lay me a C, but, but, but the thought be keeping me on my P's. Mm-hmm. And then later on, you say, um, mail detectors out the gate before they teach us to read. Right. So, like, nigga, like, or, or do you be kind of like a, a, I ain't gonna say afraid, but a little nervous be- about having a kid with the thought of like how shit is right now? 
Very. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's 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 a scary thing. Like I think yeah. like parenthood is some real shit. You know what I'm saying? That shouldn't be taken lightly. But like in today's world, like we're just like with mm-hmm. like fucking you know, just health, like fucking COVID and just yeah, like man. you know, like the, the social shit is just it's difficult. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. And then, like if I would have had a kid a little bit younger, I probably wouldn't have thought about it as much. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I know a lot of people, like, they have kids and then, you know, you just figure it out. So you don't yeah. got time to, like, think. But, like, waiting so long, I'm 30 now. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, like, overthinking, like, oh, what the fuck? I'm going to send them to school. Like, hell yeah. Did they Boy, go to a shit. Montessori? Like, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Like, For so, sure. you know, just be overthinking. But, yeah, like, the, the metal detectors thing came from, I was talking to a, um, she a professor named Dr. Yeah. Rima. She actually put that seed in my mind. She was telling me about how she was looking for somewhere for her kid to go and how she mm-hmm. not, don't want to send them nowhere where it's so structured. Because she said, like, schools really just be, like, prison pipelines for real. For sure. No, facts. And, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah. I was like, damn, like, it was that conversation that made me realize, like, sending a fucking... 12, 13 year old Through a metal detector Is <laughs> fucking crazy For sure For sure You know what I mean <laughs> Hell yeah and, and then The fucking schools Who statistically Need it Don't do it Man, You know on, what I'm saying You already know and like, I don't want to send them th- 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 Out there necessarily Just off the strength Cause yeah. they got their own problems yeah, And shit too sure. So it's like What do you do You yeah. know what I mean so, No fast Fast yeah. yeah cause I be saying that joint, Like you hear about those Those mass shootings Like you know Out in the burbs And stuff like yeah. that You never hear that shit In the inner city you know what I'm saying? And right. It, and it's crazy because, like I said, every school I went to in the city, we go through mail detectors. When I went to yeah. Gross Point North and all that stuff, I'm like, damn, y'all, y'all, just, y'all just walk right in? Like, it's nothing. Y'all don't mean use your IDs. Y'all just yeah. got that shit just to have. Like, yeah. my son go to school in Livonia. Like, they just got ID just to have it. Like, they don't yeah. have to show nothing. Like, when we went to school, we didn't have our ID. We had to go back home. Mm. Like, yeah, you, you, no ID, no school. Yeah. Or you, or you got to pay for some shit yeah. real quick. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that shit ain't. It, it's safety pr- protocols because you know obviously it's sensitive like as you know as black people in the hood we got mm-hmm. our problems right but a lot of these same problems do exist in these fucking white schools they just handle them different for sure you know for what sure. I mean and it's not it, and possibly not talked about just how ours is ours yeah exactly yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying it's under the, the magnifying then when it is talked about they want to give a background story about how little Timmy was going through this and he yeah. was uh, struggling with this but then <laughs> you got DeMario that nigga was a, he was a he was a he was a motherfucking gangster a he gang was member <laughs> yeah he's a single parent gang member yeah, you know they want they want to go ahead and put the worst picture on him yeah. with a blunt you know what I'm saying yeah, like, nigga we all everybody again sharing <laughs> your story everybody going through similar shit sure. just look a little bit different and you know that shit rough. That's, that's a fucked up thought. It be pissing me off when I no. think about it. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Now, uh, Brene Bands, right? Mm-hmm. You say, I say across from pretty faces that will never post a picture with the filter off. Mm-hmm. Nigga, the, niggas is addicted to that filter, bro. Yeah. And then it be funny, though. We really see them without the filter. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So a lot of people, and then, like you said, with this, being your raw self with the title, people don't like this. Sh- people is too self conscious about. Their looks If yeah. it's a blemish here If it's this there They don't want to show that So they want to cover it up Behind a filter mm-hmm. To make them look better Than what You know what I'm saying Yeah The way they really is Instead of really showing Your true self Like show that goddamn mark Like You know what I'm yeah. saying Like And then you got girls nowadays Even to go farther Girls doing shit With their bodies Just to mm-hmm. get the attention Yeah Or just to feel confident Within they self When you can just do that With shit With what you got Yeah You feel me And, and I, I I would encourage Everybody to Fucking you know, be happy with who they are. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, part of what I meant with that line was like, you know, as a society, we we mad judgmental and we, we do assume no, sometimes sure. that because they did that, it was to cover some up. Some people just want to do that shit. That's true too. Some people <laughs> want to do that shit. Yeah, some people are doing that shit. And I think a lot of people are doing that shit because they scared to look in that mirror, you know yeah. what I mean? Or they don't like what they see. They don't want to sure. be seen, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So they try to fix it, but yeah, that shit be going left no, a lot. Like I said, we were talking about that earlier shit. I would love to be taller. <laughs> hey, <laughs> right, right. Hey, I heard they got like some knee stretcher <laughs> shit. Dog. I don't know if it was a joke. I seen that shit on Twitter, but dude look crazy as shit I know. <laughs> I would just have to be a short nigga. No, nigga came in like, damn, nigga, you just five five. Nigga, like six, six one that bitch. Nigga, dog. pants look crazy. Nigga, hell yeah, nigga walking weird and shit, dog. <laughs> dog. Now, um, on stories, tell me about this. When you said, uh, if you ain't if if you ain't never shedding tears, then you ain't really hustling. That's facts. I right, talk about that, bro. Like, what was you what was you coming Man, from? I was coming from a place of like you know, 
um, thinking back to like them early days at like Western, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, to where I wasn't as confident and comfortable with my shit. My, yeah. I wasn't as straight financially and all of that. For and sure. it was like them days where it was like, man, yeah, this shit hard. You don't see no end. <laughs> I don't see nothing. When I look left, down, right, up, it ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no. you know, you working at fucking three in the morning, yeah. still broke, ain't seen a friend in three months, and it's like, I can't do this shit. Man, for but, sure. Like, you know, you feel you at that breaking point. Mm -hmm. But you know I always think If you feel strongly enough To be hurt by some shit You know what I'm saying It's cause you care And mm -hmm. as long as you care You know what I mean You can do something different Yeah for sure so That's what that's just about Like re-encourage Encouragement for people Who might be on their grind And just for like sure. man Fuck this shit Like yo, yeah. yo nigga, if, you, if you feel like it's wrong bro That's a good sign Cause yeah, some yeah. people Don't feel shit Yeah for sure yeah, yeah, just, yeah, just, just coast Now last one dog On Marble Flores you said some shit that kind of resonated because me and my wife was talking about this shit because she's got a, a pistol and junk. And she like, I, you said, I, t uh, well, I took the baby Glock inside my soccer pants just in case. Yeah. God willing, this shit stays in my waist till I make it back home safe. Yeah. With that shit, like, nigga, like, that's a thought. Like, you know you got to stay protected. <laughs> you pray God, you ain't got to use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But you don't want to leave the house without it. You got cake, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You so can't. that's where you're coming from, like, nigga, like, just in case, like, yeah. You know, like, hey, grandma, I'm gonna be safe. I'm <laughs> right, 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 right. She be asking, you got your uh, my what? My my uncle got a name for it, but she always say, you got such and such on you. I'm like, yeah, granny, yeah, yeah, I dog. got it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Gonna be alright. But yeah, you know, and like, yeah, that that's a fact. Like, yeah. you know, you don't want to have to. You don't. The, the power of a gun is some real shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, you gotta have one because you sure. might need it. Hell yeah. But you know, we don't want to use it. Like, you know, For sure. I mean, I mean, you don't want to. You you don't want have to do it. But yeah, if you gotta if do you it, got to. It's yeah. better better have it and not need it. For what sure. They say. Hell yeah. Dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So for, for sure, for sure, dog. Yeah, man. Now, dog, what's um? We didn't talk about you being, you know, saying rapper against this shit, dog. But what you love about it? But what's something you hate about being a rapper? Mm. Hey, some of you hate about this whole this whole music <laughs> shit, like you know what I'm saying. Um, I hate, I hate the advice that some people try to give about it. Like yeah. you know what I mean. Like just, I call, I don't, I'll, I'll say like less educated eyes. Like mm -hmm. people be like, oh yeah, this tight, but you mm -hmm. know you should make a song like Drake yeah. or some shit like that. Like that shit pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I really hate the politics. You know what for I'm saying? Sure. Hits the name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, for, yeah. Sure. like I, I, for me, I would rather just like meet good people, mm -hmm. do good business, make good music, put for the sure. shit out. For sure. Rinse, repeat. Hell yeah. But you know, it's a lot shit. of yeah. hidden agendas, hidden motives, and you got to deal with people, egos, and all that yeah, shit. Yeah. I hate that shit. Now, speaking of the whole uh, no politics, man, we 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 touched on Tish a little bit. Mm -hmm. How y'all get uh, how y'all get so cool, and, and you know, what I'm saying like, what made y'all click and just decide to work together? Man, that's my sister, not yeah. like biologically, but oh, yeah, you know what sure, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, we met in high school. We both okay. went to Renaissance, okay. and um, you know, she was um. I ended up going I went to Renaissance And got kicked out But I still mm. was friends With all my friends So like okay. You know I would still come visit them And she was You know what I'm saying Like one of the homies You mm. know They ended up getting close too So we were just always Around each other And then yeah. When we found out We could do music She didn't really Have no expectations I didn't either It just fucking happened yeah, Like that sure. shit was not planned <laughs> You yeah, know Like yeah. it just Happened to be Real close friends yeah. Happened to have Hidden talents And yeah. you know We just very We very alike our families embrace each other, and we just so, got a good, just a great relationship, man. Yeah. So no, the no pots is that was the was that the first name uh, that y'all had, or like that was like y'all had some trash name. That, <laughs> that, first, like, <laughs> that I heard uh, on. I know your your name. You said was what, Shiny Sean. Shiny Sean yeah, was my first name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sean Carlo Cole, dog. Come back to Shiny. Thank you, thank you. That shit was stupid, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, but um. <laughs> yeah, no politics. We 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 was just Sean Carlo and Tish for a while. We didn't have a name, and then we was sure. like, you know what? Let's let's give the group a shot, and we, yeah. we just needed a name, and that's just something we just mm -hmm. that's just something we landed on. We didn't have nothing that we went by me and her together for sure. before that. Hell yeah! Now, do you think that like that's another avenue to get picked up as far as like a label situation or just recognition? If it's like it might not be the solo, it might be the duo. Like you okay with? Yeah, you okay with? I'm, I'm quite. I know you okay with that, but yeah, for sure we um. That's funny. I, I haven't thought about that too too much, but yeah, that's a good point. For sure. Yeah, if, if it happened that way, you know that's cool. And um, yeah. 
you know, if I was to go into like a label situation, I would want to go into it For sure. with a little bit more control. So if I or Tish want to do some shit separately, we yeah. still can. But For sure. hell yeah, if people want to see more. No politics than Sean Carlo. Yeah, the fuck that's it. what the fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because sure, yeah. you know, we yeah. we got a good working relationship, and I think um, we think alike for musically. Sure, for so sure. you know, yeah, that, yeah. that's no. It's never difficult working with Tish like yeah. in the studio for sure. Have you ever had, had this great agreement about a song like she wanted you didn't or vice versa? Yeah, like, it don't <laughs> be a big thing though because yeah, we yeah, both yeah. like mad chill, but like yeah. Now nah, this is this is some behind the scenes frustration shit. <laughs> okay, I. And more, like, let's just do it. I want to knock this song out and go to the next song. Yeah. I don't know, like, I would prefer if it was up to me. Yeah. I walk in the studio, the yeah. beat get made, yeah. I lay my shit, that's it. Yeah, we out. If we got to come back and touch it up later, that's one thing. Yeah. Tish like the slow cook. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? It'd be shit where I'd be like, this shit done. Let's get it. <laughs> like, and no. she'll pop up fucking four weeks later, like, uh, I don't like that shit. I, I want to switch the beat up and yeah. I want to do this, that, and the third. Yeah. And she come back with a whole new shit. <laughs> and that shit be fire when For it sure. get done. So I just, Fast. you know, I, I trust her. You know no. what I mean? It be, it be pissing me off, but yeah. I trust her. No, so y'all, 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 can say, y'all both are dope, man. Like, I yeah. fuck with y'all whole vibe, y'all whole little shit, man. For real, for real. Thank you. Now, y'all tell me, I got a homeboy, bro. He rapping shit. And every time he rap, niggas be like, oh, man, he sound like Big Sean. I know you get tired of people probably comparing you a nip. Yeah, nah, I, I don't get tired. Of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like cause sometimes, it, it, like dog, I heard your your older shit. Like it ain't that much of a change for us. Like your voice and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But sometimes we are influenced by certain people heavily, and and not even know it. You yeah, feel me? That's a big fact. Yeah, cause my dog sound. I'm talking about this nigga sound like Big Sean to them. <laughs> <laughs> His whole voices, everything. I'm like dog, you sound just like this nigga, dog. Yeah, and I know he get tired of it, so I don't even say it. Yeah, and I know you hear it a lot, so I ain't, I ain't want to ask like. Like that, I wanted to know. Like, do you get tired of niggas making that comparison? Um, honestly, that that comparison is fairly new. Okay. Um, to me at least. Yeah. Um, I think when like better than money days, freedom town. Yeah, on some weird and, shit. Yeah, they was West telling. Coast. I got um J Cole a lot. Okay, yeah, but yeah, I think yeah, people I was too. defaulting to that shit just because J Cole just is. Yeah, uh, the type of rapper he yeah, is. Yeah, you know yeah. A lot I mean? of times when you rap a certain way, niggas be like, put you in that box. Like, they just right, throw, yeah, that's what I think was happening. Like, you know, I had a chick tell me, I remind her of Kendrick. I'm like, literally, there's literally nothing about me. <laughs> there's anything like this. Yeah, nigga. you just you know rap. They got some conscious rappers, right? That's, they, they, yeah, they group conscious rappers together. But yeah, the Nip like, thing, I think, because he wasn't popular. That well, I want he wasn't as popular over here. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure, Back then, sure. so yeah. that's probably why I didn't get it. Yeah. But like, like the last two, three years, I get that shit a lot. Yeah, but it's, no, it's cool. I remember he. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I got hip to Nip dog when um when he came out with the Crenshaw album mm-hmm. because I'm like, damn, he's selling, he's selling for a hundred, a hundred, and dollars. I didn't know what what came with the hundred. Yeah, you feel me? I I seen him on Sway, and I'm like, I was just intrigued by like his story and shit. Like, mm-hmm. all right, let me go ahead and tap it to it. I remember, dog, stay in Texas, dog. You know, saying in the wrong relationship. I just remember, like, when you when <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put that out there. No, like, like, when you say, like, when I, when I say, like, an album or a song that remind me of a time, bro. That Crenshaw album, nigga, just take me to that time, bro. Like, yeah. listen to that shit on the way to the gym every day, like to yeah. go hoop just to get out the house, nigga. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I always remember that Crenshaw album. That shit was was hard, dog. Like, that was a that was a dope ass album. So yeah, I agree. That was when, what was your introduction to uh, to Nip, dog. First time I ever heard him, I was um, I was in the car with my granny. This was like, I had just graduated high school, so it was like, oh, nine. Yeah. I was in the car with my granny, and she had Sirius XM, so I'm just listening to like, Shade 45 yeah. and some shit. People you don't listen to on, on mm-hmm. the regular radio and station. He, yeah, he came on, they played his song, and they was interviewing him. They had a whole yeah. segment. I yeah. didn't. I don't even remember if I caught his name, yeah. but I remember the song. They was playing The Hustle Way. Okay. And I was like, oh, this shit dope. I fuck with this. And then, yeah. like, you know, he was on a freshman cover, and I went and, like, just downloaded everybody's shit who was on yeah, there. It was a dope ass freshman cover, yeah. too. Yeah, and I fucked with his, and I was like, yo, this shit dope. And then shortly after that, he came out with the marathon. So, like, yeah. after that, I was just like, yeah. Yeah. You know how, how, how did uh, him pass away Like how did it affect you dog Cause I ain't gonna lie I tell the story a lot That's the reason why I really started the podcast bro Cause I kept talking about this shit But never did it yeah. I was always talking about A lot of shit But never did it mm-hmm. So when he passed away I'm like damn He like around my age bro Like yeah. he made this big of an impact You know what I'm saying His community mm-hmm. Like with just with life So fuck I'm What the fuck I'm holding on You know what I'm saying Right yeah like, I might as well try that shit So like did that shit affect you I know like fuck you up and shit Bro I was fucked up yeah. Like the, the day it happened Um I remember it because you know me and Tish had a business, Bridge Fall Studios, where we was like shooting videos and like we we, was, we had a studio where we was recording. Yeah, I see you using your photography, John. Yeah, we yeah. was on all that. So we was with a client, my homegirl L'Oreal from Fur Free. 
Okay. She um we were shooting a a a, 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 um, a video. Yeah. And um we was just wrapping up and I sat down and I pulled my phone out and yeah. like my brother had sent it like dog not my nigga nip and then yeah. like he sent it to me like they showed like the graphic ass video and yeah, I was like shit, I, fuck I was mad that shit was out there like that, that, shit, that, sh that shit was terrible but like yeah. you know I was like when I drove home bro, I had to sit in the car just sat in the car for like an hour and just yeah. was like dog this is fucking really happening man for sure hell yeah hell yeah I caught off work I was I, cause I got to work and it was like yeah you know it, it made like things like that make you realize shit like I got to work and like nobody cared. Yeah, for sure. Then you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I can't be around y'all niggas. Like, y'all niggas know what the fuck just happened yesterday, dog. Y'all no, no. niggas bitches. Now no, nobody right. says any y'all niggas. No. No. These niggas kill Nip. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. I had to get the fuck out of there, bro. I left. No, you know because I remember him. I know exactly what the fuck happened when I. My son just got his hair braided for my wife's uh, cousin. Yeah. This nigga was in Charlotte for a podcast awards. Yeah. And I hit that nigga up like, dog, you see Nip got shot? And that's the only thing I didn't know he died. He's yeah. like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, shit, hopefully he, like, he nigga don't pass away or whatever. He's like, yeah. Call back, like, dog. Nigga, Nip died, dog, bro. Like, that shit I ain't weird. gonna lie, bro. It's two people that I cried, dog. I shared a tear for, dog, that I wasn't related to, bro. And that was Nip and Kobe. Kobe, now, yeah, how Kobe, you say, Kobe. how you feel about Nip at, at work? Dude, with that Kobe shit had me like my brother. Like it's like dog, somebody I knew every day passed away, bro. I'm in that mud. Yeah, dog. I, my brother, my son called me crying. I was mad, dog. Like fuck, sick. get your ass out here, fucking sick. <laughs> I was happy. You ain't seen nothing. Get your ass out. <laughs> every time somebody made a speech, I'm in that bitch. My wife was looking at me I'm like, why? She know I'm about to start crying. I'm in that bitch holding it like, ah. Yeah, like, dog. dog. Kobe fucked me up too. I was doing a show, bro. Soon we got done with the show because it was Sunday. So I got done with the show. I go on my phone like. Like, what? I'm like, all right, TMZ lying like a motherfucker. I said the same shit. Then that shit was on ESPN, like, dog, this nigga Kobe died, bro. Not Kobe. Was that the same year? Uh, uh no, a year after. Mm. Yeah, Nip, Nip died in uh, 19. Okay. Kobe died right for uh, fucking 2020. Yeah, right for Kobe, dog. That was the start dog. of a fucking bad year, dog. Oh my god, that shit was horrible. As soon as Kobe passed away, then here come COVID, punk ass, dog. Nah, yeah, that shit was unbelievable, bro. That shit, that shit had me. I'm at work, nigga. Like every time I'm. I'm <laughs> Every time I'm doing something, I just get worried. Like, damn, I gotta go to bathroom. What think about Kobe? Yeah, nah, that shit. That shit was great. Hey, but Duh. that just show you how much like again. That was my first. Like Jordan to me is the best basketball player ever. Yeah. But that was my first favorite player, bro. Like yeah. when he came to the league in '96, bro. I'm like fourth grade, third grade, mm -hmm. dog. I remember getting mad at my mom because I wanted the Lakers jersey. She got me a Shaq jersey instead of a Kobe. Like, nah, I won't I'm like, dog. I need, I need that. Hell eight. yeah, so that shit hurt, I need bro. that fucking eight. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> For sure, dog. Yeah. yeah, so I feel you on that having to go home shit, bro. Yeah, that shit was rough, bro. I, I, see, I ain't have enough money to go home. But I couldn't miss a day. <laughs> <laughs> that would fuck my whole check. I, I, I got to deal with this shit. <laughs> I got to deal with this shit. <laughs> For real. I got to go take a break. Think it's a man brace, bro. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> dog, but one last thing before we uh, get to the end, dog. Is it an artist, bro? From your kid years that you surprised about, like they turn out now. If it's like a decline or if it's like, damn, I know he's gonna be this dope. Do you got like an art artist like that you was like, damn, he he really doing that shit, or damn, he, that nigga fell off. That's a good ass question. Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna lie, and and it's all good. Yeah. Cause you know he made some. Mm some great moves and he's still one of my favorite people for sure 50 cent yeah i thought 50 cent was just gonna make like i didn't think i would ever get tired of 50 yeah cent. for sure, you know for sure. I, feel like, you. I feel like after a while like his music kind of just like yeah you know what i mean and, and i get it now you yeah, know what i mean yeah. but at one point i'm like dog 50 what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> dog your first two albums classic yeah, bro yeah. you like this ain't gonna be the best rapper ever yeah like, yeah i thought he was gonna be like the greatest right now i don't feel that way no more but yeah. my nigga is still dominating yeah. in his own way yeah. so i yeah, respect for sure. that for dog, sure, for sure. When, as a young guy i thought nelly was gonna be a best rapper dog forever like, damn <laughs> That country grammar album, I don't that care what nobody hate. say, bro. That shit was that hate. shit was hard. That nigga so, had a run right there. I'm like, I stamped that nigga. Like this nigga gonna be gonna be the nigga, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I'm surprised that you know some niggas don't know how to transcend with the times. Like yeah. like Snoop. Think about Snoop, bro. That nigga can adjust to any time period of music, bro. Facts. And he never hate on the young niggas. Yeah. So they never like saying like get your old ass out the way because yeah. he just incorporate them niggas and what he got going on. Yeah. So nigga Snoop will forever be a legend dog until mm -hmm. the day he 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 passed, bro. Like mm -hmm. he always gonna be known. Everybody know him. Like I said, I said this shit on countless shows. 
the youngest person is gonna know who Snoop is and the oldest white person is gonna know who Snoop is. Facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna know who the fuck Snoop Dogg is in countries, wherever, dog. He know how to play it. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Now, bro, I know you, Um, you say you 30, dog, so you know about making the band. Hell yeah. Yeah, with Chopper and Fred and the niggas, dog. <laughs> Hell was, yeah. I, motherfucker, it wasn't it was just crying and shit on, on, on Instagram, too, dog. Freddie P. Yeah, I didn't see the video, but yeah, I saw. Nigga. I didn't watch it, but I saw the clip. Yeah, because he uh, blaming Diddy for it. For the reason, damn, this nigga producer fucking up shit. <laughs> is, <laughs> is this him? <laughs> no, <I> think, <laughs> no, but this nigga Fred P was crying, on, saying like Diddy like fucked up everybody on Bad Boys, basically, mm. including himself, and saying like after he got done with the band, he could never find another, you know, what I'm saying label deal because of Diddy and shit. So he just, you know, what I'm saying through his mm. big temp temper tantrum, man. I'm looking like he, shit. I don't think. Fred, the reason why the fucking band got fucked up to me, because he didn't want to fuck with it no more after he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, making the band, bro. I always do this shit. Yo, band. You get you and four other people, dog. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna be, bro? Yo, one album, band, bro. And this could be. It could be producers, singers, rappers, whatever. Big time, not just like local people. And if I could put together anybody, we could do. Uh, we, you could do a separate. You could do a big time one. And you could do a local one. Okay. If I had to put together, I'll start local. Okay. If I had to put together a fucking a local team to yeah. just be the shit for sure. Shit, I'm bringing Tish. So, of course, <laughs> I already knew that. Uh, if you didn't, it would be, it'd be all messed up. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, I'm, how many people I get? Five. Yep. So me, yeah, that's that's two right away right there. You me, and Tish. Me and Tish. You got three other people. Um. Give me Fresco uh, Musically yeah. it, it, Musically I think Fresco Still getting his chops up But I, If I If If executive shit count Yeah He gotta be there So right. I'll, I'll put Fresco in there Alright Um You got two other ones My homie Elon Miles Alright Hmm Your last but not least And I need a producer or this counts as producers counting this. If you um, got producers you want to, singers, whatever. Um, that's hard. That last that last spot hard. <laughs> I um, I say, I take my homie. I say my homie, Dag. I think. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's hard. Yeah. I don't yeah, say I, I think because it's hard, but I, I think Dag style mesh well with like me sure. and Tish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he can produce. Yeah. I can produce. Eli can produce. We for can sure. all song right. I think we can make some dope for shit. Sure, for sure. Now on that mainstream, how, on the mainstream, how you going, dog? Um, if it's if it's people that's alive, if we gonna go that way, I'm gonna say me. Mm -hmm. I take. Um, I want to work with the Alchemist. Okay, bet hell yeah, get some dope beats. Yeah, I, I want to work with the Alchemist. I need to be having my nigga Currency out here looking good. I fuck with Currency dog, so Currency much, dog. Was my favorite dog. Like, <laughs> I fuck with Currency, Niggas don't dog. fuck with Currency like yes. that, dog. Um, Him and Bowie James be doing shit Bowie good, too. James is my nigga, too. Oh, yeah. What up, man? Get on podcast. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so you the alchemist. Alchemist. I think me and Cole will do some dope shit. All Big right. crit. Nigga sleep on crit like a motherfucker, Yeah, me, me, alchemist, crit, Cole. Yeah. And, um... Fuck it, I'm bringing Tish again. Okay, bet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing bet. Tish again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm bringing Tish again. That's For gonna sure. be my super. Dog, group. and that's another nigga's <laughs> nigga sleep on was is Cole. I mean, a crit. Dog, that nigga a legend, bro. Dog, crit Cole, dog. Production wise, I remember my brother, dog, put me on. Uh, crit, crit was here. Mm. And I'm like, dog, who's this nigga, dog? I'm like, yeah, this, this crit, dog, nigga. So I started just listening to this shit, and listen through listening to crit. That's how I discovered Kendrick. Cause I know Kendrick first. Uh, one of his first tapes was titled Kendrick Lamar. And then he had another one He was doing like All Lil Wayne beats mm. Yeah so he had like Some old shit Cause niggas think that Like the first project Most people was at What section 808 Or Section 80 Section 80 yeah, yeah. But he had some shit Like he was going off All like Carter beats Like Lil Wayne I beats. never heard that yeah. I heard the Kendrick Lamar EP Yeah the Kendrick Lamar EP And but the he had one. He was doing motherfucking uh, over Going with Lil Wayne beats Like he was rapping over, over Millie and all that shit Like Damn that was probably hard It was hard It should be on what's name On that piff dog mm. I think he got like the same Like the little Carter face On that junk But it's his face And shit like that With the tattoos I believe mm. I might check that out Hell yeah dog Yeah but Crit That's my dog For sure Hell yeah, yeah I fuck with Crit dog Come on show Crit <laughs> Yeah It's like if you're in Detroit dog Yeah Now we end everything out bro We got Three segments we do bro So the first one Is, is a versus battle I give you two places 
to people to things, whatever, and you tell me who will come out as the winner. Bet. All right, Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon. Shit. <laughs> um, Cartoon Network. Gosh, see Nickelodeon classic, bro. Real rest me and my brothers to watch that show. <laughs> hey, Arn, it's, it's yeah. tough, but yeah, I, yeah no, I, for I sure. Cartoon Network had some shit though, nigga. Dexter Laboratory. That was my shit. Well, Dexter Giant Bravo was a pervert, dog. Giant, Giant Bravo, <laughs> hey, he was a sick motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. He's a sick motherfucker. Cat dog and that bitch, dog. No, cat dog was Nickelodeon. That was Nickelodeon. Uh, I'm talking about Cow and Chicken. Cow and Chicken. Yeah, nigga, that shit funny. As hell, Samurai bro. Jack. Yeah, good, good, good young days, bro. Uh, Ho versus Nas. Ho. All right, loud women versus quiet women. Quiet. Grandma cooking versus mom cooking. <laughs> Me personally, my mom. I bet, man. 90s rap versus now. I'll take now. All right. You the first person to say that shit. Man, <laughs> dog. It's some dope ass shit. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's some dope shit sure. out right now, sure. dog. Joy versus Bron. Um. Mm, I take Jordan. All right. Uh, Dipset versus G Unit. Mm. That's hard. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's hard as hell. Um, if I just go with who I was fucking with, yeah. G Unit. Hell yeah. I was, fucking I was with always G-Unit. mad that Lloyd Banks uh, didn't have that album I wanted him to have. Duh. Like Lloyd <laughs> Spin Wise, he was the best out of the group. Yeah. But like, I remember what's that album was cold as fuck. Straight out of cash. Young Bill. Buck was that nigga. Dog. Nigga, that shit was hard. <laughs> that shit came in that bitch hard, nigga. Like, <laughs> that shit was crazy. Motherfucker, nigga, the video was, was hard, dog. Nigga had my Ooh. man, hell yeah, dog. That yeah. nigga. I don't that nigga on some other shit now, but I don't that's, that's another story, man. dog. <laughs> <laughs> to each his own Yeah for sure And hey, 50 funny as fuck bro. Yeah he be He be, <laughs> he be wild <laughs> T.I. versus Jeezy T.I. Damn shit That shit hard though I like both them niggas T.I. was my nigga That's why yeah. it's so easy for me I, that, that versus battle Would've been better If it would've been T.I. I know what they were saying With the Gucci man the, Yeah The beef they had They had to That shit yeah. was crazy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about we, wrestling we, That's like yeah. a dream wrestler The fucking Wrestlemania No, like, we was at the crib Going crazy That barbecue Then we said It's loud as hell though <laughs> We do an event, nigga. <laughs> we do an event over here, dog. Chilling at the crib versus hitting the streets. Mm. I be in, I be in the crib. It yeah. depends, but I be in the crib. All right, Master P versus E Forty. E Forty. All right, Carter One versus Carter Two. Ah uh, man, bro. Probably. Probably the Carter, probably the Carter one. Yeah, like I told him, a Carter one better rapping wise, Carter two better production wise. Yeah, I think the beats and stuff was like a little bit better, Carter two. Yeah, I don't know, but then Mayfresh Fresh did Carter once. So I don't know, cause Mayfresh Fresh my nigga. Yeah, I wasn't a huge Wayne fan at the time, so I'm not like yeah. oh, so super my favorite in, nigga, like, super invested into them. No, I but I think the Carter one. Knee alone versus making good looks. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Knee alone. All right, Rob versus Stone Cold. Stone Cold. All right, wearing time gear versus summertime gear. Summertime. Right now, I don't know if you in a situation, but in person game versus DM game. Like with the chicks. If you were single, yeah. What was if you, I was single, yeah. um, in person. All right, for sure. Facebook versus Instagram. Instagram. Death Row versus Rockefeller. Death Row. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, you kind of gotta go Death Row. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, that shit hard though. Yeah, some shit, dog. but Death Row just spawned some like yeah. like Rockefeller. Well, I guess if Kanye on that motherfucking yeah, Rockefeller, yeah. Like, would you would you put uh, what's the name? Of, is part of Rockefeller? No, she was Rock Nation. Oh, Rihanna, she Rock Nation. But that's an offshoot. But yeah, off- it, it yeah. ain't the same though. It ain't yeah, the same. Yeah, you yeah. right? I I go um, man, nigga got. Go. Gotta go Death Row Yeah for sure For sure so. For sure Hell It's yeah. close though Yeah Now it's uh close. Top three bro I'll give you a category Give me your top three Top three childhood crushes Uh Celebrity Ashley Banks Okay Tatiana sure. Ali Hell yeah Hell yeah uh, Hell yeah She a bad Fucking Hey uh, on that new one though Nigga Hillary look bad On this new one <laughs> I ain't watched that shit yet Oh that shit good bro That shit good Um Ashley Banks Um Y'all remember Taina? What's that? Who, what, what show was that? It was a show, right? That shit was called Taina. Yeah, I'm about to say it was a show. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, always, I remember that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always, I always thought she was tight. <laughs> okay, and, um, man. And, uh, and Aaliyah. 
Okay, hell yeah, Leo's yeah, cold. Sure. People, one of the people that they don't name, dog. People don't name that I named on my shit was a uh, Topanga boy. Yeah, Pain was nice little. She had, she had a, she had something. It was, she had like a weird, like a <laughs> enticing look. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was yeah, very, sure. very interesting look. For Give sure. me your uh, top three moments in life. Oh shit! Yeah, I know it's um, kind of deep. Top three <laughs> moments. Uh, probably the first day I recorded in the studio. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. For sure, gotta have that one. Yeah. Um... That's hard, bro. <laughs> that shit, that shit was hard. Man, um, getting married was dope. That day was cool. Yeah. Um, See, it, it, I was gonna bring that up, but I don't be know how like how rap dudes be think be feeling about talking about you know what I'm saying marriage. And yeah, shit like that. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't never, be tripping. I never want to step on because I don't know if they want that the look and shit. Like you know how some niggas so be how like, to be super cool. Yeah, and, <laughs> like yeah, are nah. you married? Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't. Ain't yeah. nothing you can do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm good You know what I'm for saying sure, so, For sure That's a definitely yeah, a dope moment that's, That was a dope moment yeah. um, Third Shit Throwing our first event For sure For sure, for sure. Well, How long you been married bro? It'll be three years Oh shit yeah Congrats shit. My shit was Thank you my, my shit be two years in, in oh, July Oh cool yeah Congrats yeah, so too bro Yeah I'm new too. We got married doing COVID and shit dog Oh damn <laughs> We just beat COVID. Yeah, we had for just sure. Beat that man, shit, my wife bro. was hurt, dog. We our jump went from three, three or four hundred people to twelve. Man. <laughs> hey, my man hey. right here, nigga, was on on the pictures and shit, dog. Hey, it was probably it's, it was it's still a, it was it's a silver lining to that shit. No, for sure. All right, no sure. <laughs> pressure, money, <laughs> money. <laughs> we, we wasted some money, dog. Motherfucker, we paid for our whole venue. We still ain't got our twelve hundred back. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah man. I'm sorry, okay, to that, man. Bro. Northwest Activity Center. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we gonna have the little uh, reception. The staple, shit, yeah. Man, that shit was crazy, man. All right, give me your top three, uh, top three foods, bro. Mm, pizza. Oh yeah, you a good person. Yeah, <laughs> I like pizza. Um, I can't live without that junk. Hell yeah, for sure. That shit, that shit, delicious. Pizza. <laughs> uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I can't eat sure. by the numbers, bro. I done ate more of them shits than probably anything. <laughs> but yeah. um, pizza, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and um, I like I like pasta. I'm a yeah. pasta dude for sure. Top three underrated rappers right now or just period. Period Ever? is whatever. Um, Benny Siegel. Yeah, Benny Siegel's cold. Yeah, right? Benny Siegel. Um, I don't think Ti get as much credit as he should. No, for he a don't. lot of that shit he did. Yeah, I would say Ti, and um, I still think Nip underrated. For sure, for sure. I still no, he think Nip people that started gravitating to him to after yeah. the passing. Yeah, you know for sure. That's how I be. Top three TV shows. Mm. Shit. Uh, I fuck with um, Breaking Bad. Okay, a lot of people, man, dog. My cousin, I never watched Breaking Bad, bro. Yeah, I gotta get hip. I don't know if I put it top, but that yeah. shit, that shit was good. Yeah, for sure. Um, The Wire was fire. All right, and um, man, The Fresh Prince, man. Yeah, the first it. one. I didn't see the new one. So no, <laughs> no, no shade. No, I for sure. I, that shit good. You can put that shit on and just it's just good. No, for you know sure. Whatever well, episode, you just go <laughs> yeah, watch it don't them, matter, dog. dog. It don't matter, dog. Shuffle that shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. What's um last one? Last one. I just had my fucking brain for. It. Oh, top three movies. Mm. Do the right thing. Yeah, I'm surprised. That's a, that's a, that's dope though. Especially that nigga said he stepped on my J's, man. That nigga said, "Hey, <laughs> why don't you go back to Boston?" Take <laughs> 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 your ass back to Boston. That nigga man, hell, that nigga fucked them, <laughs> them J's up. <laughs> Uh, Dude, he had the, what he had the nines on or something. He had the fours. Oh yeah, he yep, had the yep, cement yep. four. Yeah, fought the bitches up. Dog. Stepped on the bitches. Nigga die with the bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. That shit could have went very. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, damn, that's hard. Do the right thing. Yeah. Hmm. Man, that's fucking hard, bro. <laughs> I like Minister Society. I ain't gonna say for it's sure. my favorite, but they come to mind because I can watch that shit at any given time. Oh yeah, for sure. Facts. And um. Carlito's way. I can always watch Carlito's way. Bad, bad, hell yeah. Now y'all, I told you off camera, like I said, man, give me a high moment or a jump moment, dog. Funny story when you was fucked up on one or shit, both. Shit. It's recent. Now this shit actually <laughs> inspired me to take the first three months off from drinking. So <laughs> I ain't had a drink since New Year's Eve. This shit probably happened yeah. mid December. Yeah, you was fucked up then. <laughs> yeah, bro. Went to Pantheon. Yeah. With um 
Tish Fresco yeah. and my brother. My brother like a fucking strip club kind of sewer. Like that's his <laughs> shit. Like he just go to the strip clubs around the world and just become <laughs> Become a regular <laughs> Nigga is a regular At like three strip clubs Across Duh. the country But We went You know Day shift Half price everything yeah. Ran through two bottles Of the Casa Yeah And I was supposed to go to My sister-in-law house For like cousin night Yeah for sure For sure And I was fucking Blue out dog. Yeah. So like I'm over there I'm late So you made it You made it there, I'm, I <laughs> Don't drink and drive, but I made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I made don't, it. don't remember, but he made right. it. Right. I do not remember. I have regrets. I shouldn't do that. It was bad. But I got there. And um, I'm there. They playing games. They all kind of chill. They yeah. fizzling now. And I'm in this bitch just drunk sitting by myself. <laughs> 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 Thinking about the decisions he Yeah. Made. <laughs> just, 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 just pill, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting in a chair. I pull up a chair. I don't even remember this shit, but I woke up. Wifey was like, you remember falling out the chair last night? <laughs> and I'm like, nope. Duh. Show me a picture. Bro, yeah. fell out the fucking chair. Yeah. Cup, singles fell out my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, so you like, like, you know, like, everything. I'm just on the ground, like, just fucking stretched with, like, like sonic rings. And shit. <laughs> just, just dollars just hanging out, like, Duh. in the middle. It's fucking... This fucking eighteen year old, like this is her family. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just in this bitch sprawl, dog. Just cook. Can't defend myself. Just just lean, made a big scene. It was wild. Like literally. Damn. Dog. So I don't remember it, so it ain't super embarrassing. Yeah, so but she like, got so she had to get you home then you like she told, Oh yeah, they got me home. Yeah. yeah I know it was over. I wasn't driving that way. Duh, duh, I got damn. lucky the first time. No, yeah. ain't no like being drunk on your ass like that, bro. Like, dog. Like you. Sometimes I've been so drunk, bro. I start like, be like, dog. Why am I even? What if, dog? You just be like, dog. This shit is. That's my favorite shit. When I be too drunk, man, this shit is stupid. <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> this, is, this is some stupid shit, dog. Because one time I heard drinking with this niggas over here. Then went with my homeboy downtown, drunk some more. This same shit you did, nigga. Driving. Mm. I'm in that bitch going lane to lane. Dude, like, <laughs> I'm talking about like I'm just going crazy. I'm in the bed, bro, in the fetal position, dog. <laughs> Like my wife at the time, she she prayed. I'm mean, that bitch is bored. I go to church and this morning with him and my grandma. Nigga, I'm mean, that bitch like this. Like, <laughs> nigga, that bitch is spinning. Like, nigga, dog. That's the worst feeling when you in the bed. That bitch still moving. Yeah, dog. that hangover. That shit makes shit not worth it for sure. And that shit always. You always. I think I ain't drinking, but you said you said you took three months off. Yeah, I, I said I was gonna give Q one and be fully fine. I feel good too. I, don't, I, sure. ain't, I ain't been craving. Oh nothing. yeah. Oh, last thing I want to ask you, bro, before we get all this shit, dog, I forgot to ask you, bro. Like. You you being a vegetarian, I'm, I see you made a post talking about yeah. like how niggas be fake vegetarians still eating chicken and shit and, and yeah and, and yeah. Seafood. Like, <laughs> what made you uh, transition to that into that, bro? Like how tough was that first, man? Um, I was having some like digestive issues. Okay. And, and I had never had none before, so I'm like, what the fuck? Me yeah. and one of my homies was like, bro, you should try being a vegetarian. I'm like, all right, yeah. I do it for the month of February. Yeah, for sure. And I just never stopped. Yeah, you know and that was what six years ago in February, right? Hell yeah, six yeah. years ago. So um. It, it honestly hasn't been super hard For sure But I take You know I'm a competitive person I take it as a challenge yeah, now yeah, Like fucking yeah. we here now But nah yeah. the, the only thing that I really be missing Is chicken strips Yeah Hell yeah Cause I was about to say What the meat What meat you missed the most Pause But I was about to say, yeah, I, was about to say I was about to ask you What, what, you, what you missed the most <laughs> <laughs> like what meat you missed the most? <laughs> Shit sounds terrible though. Hey, hell no, Glizzy. <laughs> hell no, no, nah, nah, for no. real. Uh, chicken strips, uh, chicken strips, yeah, chicken yeah. strips and um, <laughs> chicken wings, chicken strips and chicken wings. Yeah, that for sure. Man. So you don't like you just like strictly like nothing, no meat at all. Just yeah, like, no, nah, all vegetables, yeah. all. That's it. Yeah, I never really ate fish. Yeah. Um. And when I stopped, all I was eating was white meat anyway. I was just eating chicken and turkey, so it wasn't yeah. like crazy. And then you just cut that off completely. Yeah, so, it, it, and so uh, man, Thanksgiving for you, like, like how that, uh, like, what you be doing? Like, I still get down. I just can't eat no turkey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, for sure. I, macaroni, so, green. Yeah, what's your substitute for like for like meat, like like cauliflower, like you know what I'm saying? Wings. It or? depends. I fuck with cauliflower wings yeah. when they done right. Um, for sure. I try to stay away from like the like the Beyond and Impossible yeah, shit, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But I ain't gonna lie, I was at the Pistons game on three one three day and they got a Beyond three one three burger. Man, yeah. that bitch was delicious. Yeah, why you say you stay away from that shit? Cause like it's, it's tempted to go back to to the real shit or something. No, nah, it's just like it's hella heavy, heavy process. Like yeah, a lot yeah. of shit be processed, but like you know that shit like 
a lot of soy and like impossible and shit and yeah. like yeah you know you got your concerns with too much yeah. soy and shit so sure. i try to keep it like whole food so like yeah. i try to actually eat vegetables you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. yeah, yeah. For yeah. Sure. It, like do you feel better when you made that transition though like yeah my stomach gets you stopped but you know if you don't eat right you eat too many starches and shit yeah, yeah, just yeah. trying to compensate then you start feeling like shit again but yeah, yeah. nah it, it, it helped yeah for sure it helped now is your, is your wife she, she, on, she on that too nah hell nah oh, is that don't be tempted like you be nah. <laughs> hey sometimes I be like <laughs> let me smell a little bit I'm like damn come on man <laughs> hell no shit man for sure man well shit man I appreciate you coming to this motherfucking man, dog man I appreciate you having me fam oh, for sure man yeah, this is a good talk and uh, give me a uh, Give people some um encouraging words, dog. Something to leave on, leave out with, dog. Um, some encouraging words, bro. Just you know, be comfortable being you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You the sure. you the only you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You've been through what you've been through. Yeah. And you got something to tell people. You got something to share. Mm -hmm. And you ain't the only one that been through it. You know what I mean? If it's some Pets. shit that you want to do. Try it, bro. Yeah, for sure. The worst sure. thing that can happen is it could not work, and you can just go back to doing what the fuck you're doing <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Just give shit a shot. For hell sure. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Shit, I ain't, I ain't got too much to say, man. Hey, don't kids, if you watching this, don't drink and drive. Do not, <laughs> do <laughs> not drink and drive, bro. Yeah, yeah. If you, uh, I ain't saying, I ain't saying you did this, but if you tell your girl you ain't go to strip club, don't have a singles on you. Yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Leave them shits in the car. Hell yeah, and watch and, what gas station you go to too. And, and actually, strip club <laughs> etiquette: you shouldn't leave with no singles. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure, you still don't want bitches. If, <laughs> That's a Gucci man Gucci Gucci man taught us if you leave him with the ones that's petty you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, no. but you know I probably would have threw him but I, I couldn't remember too much so you know, I probably didn't think I had him bitches. my cheap ass would be like I gotta keep 10 for good <laughs> right I gotta get all of my pay respect it respect yeah, yeah. it See, the most I ever threw nigga I ain't been strict club three times in my life niggas mm. the most I ever threw was like $20 nigga I'll be like man fuck this Bro, throw this is super slow like. that's how I was but th these last two trips have changed my life for you know sure, for sure, for sure. but yeah yeah for sure well, shit, man, Like I said I appreciate you coming through bro Thanks for having me Man, man. good show and shit man Make sure y'all go ahead And peep Yeah where you can find music On every On um, every platform Yeah any platform Sean Carlo S-H-A-U-N Carlo mm -hmm. And um You know I'm Carlo No Politics On all social yep. And uh Yeah go go grab that scene Grab that No Politics Whatever we are yep. You know what I mean And yeah For sure man Like I said man It's your boy Shaw man Motherfucker uh Voice of Detroit. Yes, sir. Podcast MVP, man. Best podcast in the city, man. We out. 112. Yeah. Peace.